Hello, everybody. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome, Imperameter. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Let's chat. So, we're kind of at an interesting point in the playthrough. I have a couple decisions to make. I'm still not feeling the best, to be honest, chat. So I have a couple of breakpoints in my own notes or where I could potentially stop if I'm not feeling well. But boy oh boy, chat, uh, there is just bad information out there. So I decided to play after we stopped streaming the other time just to get an idea of what was up there. Because, like, I have played the game before, but it's been a while. So I took some notes. And this time I actually wrote down some breakdowns, because one thing that I was getting really confused about online... When do I unlock certain items from the, the hospital? So I just wrote down what numbers I happen to be at at the time. That's the only thing I'm going to aim for. <laughs> that's, that's mostly what I needed to know. I don't think I really need to know anything else to beat the rest of the game. So I played up until... I think 8-5? Yeah, 8-5. So I got a little bit of a sneak peek, so I have an idea of what to do. So bear with me. But you know what? We always have safety factors. Is this the same song again? Soundtrack, please. Try it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and I guess boot up the game and create our backup characters. So if somebody wants to be named after a character in the game, now is your chance. I promise I won't kill you instantly. <laughs> You're th this character is here for my safety. Uh, I'm trying to think how we were watching the game last time. There we go. I got there eventually. Parameter's like, hmm, sure. Yeah, I didn't bother saving anything last time because I was like, I did not want to save over my files. So I just, I played up to chapter or episode eight and I just, I just quit. I'm just like, you know, chat, I was like, no way am I accidentally overwriting something important from our saves. That would drive me wild. So yeah, let's do some safety save stuff. Oh, I got to get used to moving with the mouse again. Um, I really, okay, so let, let's talk about where I want to go and where I, where I, found myself going in like four chapters or so i do eventually want belts but not right now in fact let me double check my equipment oh i have like no money but i do have magic sword okay just wanted to confirm that so eventually there's going to be a belt that i want belts basically focus on attack power but until i start having i think i wrote down 11k and i have to scroll back down on my notes until i'm at the point where i can upgrade the belts enough via expensive item bill I'm not going to bother unlocking it. I do need it at some point. I just want you to be aware. At some point, I promise you I will get some other item because I found our damage just kind of fell off after a while. And I'm like, oh, I get to add 180 attack or so to my character with Love Belt or whatever it was called. I was like, oh, that works. But anyway, I don't really need mana for the rest of the game so far. Like, I could buy these, but I'm not going to do anything with them. Like, the only thing I need mana for is more expensive stuff, which I will need to rank up, like, four times. But if you look at our current mana total, I already have enough. So I can go ahead and just make one safety character for now. I think once we get further, I'll make more safety characters. And eventually, actually, they won't be safety characters at that point. They will be 100% required. But in the meantime, I guess we could go ahead and make another character. I didn't really talk about this last time, so I figured this would also give me an opportunity to talk about this. Master Pupil System. So the way the game works is it looks at all the pupils that are under the protagonist. Let's say you assign him as the character that creates them. And it takes the highest base stat from each of those characters, and I believe it's 10% of their stat goes towards the protagonist. So technically, if you want, like if you're playing in a more casual setting, you could have master pupils with all the melee characters so that way they kind of feed upwards their stats um i don't really care though because we're not going to be playing anybody other than laharl so i might as well just give them stats so i don't know if it matters what mage type i make 
I probably should have taken Gnosis and Whip Mage. I just made a Red Skull. I guess I'll make a Red Skull. I just need a character with Braveheart. I'm pretty sure this is one that has it. So you can see I lose like basically nothing <laughs> in terms of mana. So I could probably make two, honestly, and it would not impact the run whatsoever. Given that we got extra kills in the item world. That's the thing. We got those extra kills in the item world. So I, getting that after extra 50 to 60 plus having the mana broker has uh, given me a surplus, which is nice. Technically, I could make them skilled, but there's no point. So I might as well just give them a stat increase. Then we'll do Urt and Parameter. So if I happen to see an XP up, I will level you just because... There you go. You're now immortalized in the playthrough. Ooh. I was so close to fix so close to fitting. Hmm. Good luck. Look here for band targets. Thank you, Kalvisha. Wow, we seriously one letter shy. That is so sad. Parameter. <laughs> one letter. So sad. We could do this. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. So anyway, I guess I'll put the extra in. in. So, like, if I wanted to really get balanced stats on a character, I could technically just pick whatever character gave the most of a certain stat. So anyway, you'll boost Laharl's intelligence. Not that I think I use it at any point. And speaking of which, pupils can teach their master's abilities. So technically, if Laharl is standing next to Red Skull and Red Skull is Braveheart, Laharl can use it until it hits level 1 and learn it. So there's your fun fact. I, I forgot to mention it last time. I might as well as mention it here. Oh, interesting. He only comes with fire? Hmm. I thought he came with other abilities. One second. I mean, I'll make you. It's fine. Is it the other character that gets it? I mean, we have mana to spare. I might as well as check. Did I make a red mage when I was testing? I'm just going to call it... Art. Both have fire by. Wonder if I leveled them and I forgot that I did that. It's possible. That's fine then. I'm pretty sure both of these characters get it. It could just be level locked. As I said before, I was messing around, so I was doing some unusual things. I should have definitely taken notes. <laughs> that That's on me that time. But anyway, we'll have heart for now, just because. Uh, I don't think this changed my plan at all. So we have characters of various levels. So funny enough, Red Shirt, for example, I think is giving me two attack to Laharl. Not very much, but it technically adds up. So we'll see how it goes. Sure, I'll save the game, because I don't think I'm going to miss that 20 mana, to be honest. My name is Long. Oh. Prince, this is a serious matter. What's wrong? Someone opened a gate to the Blazing Core without me knowing. Who could have done this? Maybe he knows where that pendant is. All right. I shall find him and make him confess everything. Welcome, Kirk. Okay, one thing I also promised to do was start merging monsters. We talked about that last session. So we're going to be merging some monsters. I believe, according to my notes, this should be the one with the experience gain. How goes tossing people? We're very early on, Kerr. We have not actually done a stage yet. It's so hot here. What's this place? Oh, what's with this place? This is too much for me. I'm out of here. Wait, look at this. A feather. Let me see. What's so special about it? This is an angel feather. It's not yours, is it? No, it's size, and the aura it radiates. They're both superior to mine. Also, Rip no voice acting here for some reason. This feather belongs to a high-level angel. Hmm, what are this place reeks of goodness? But I came to the netherworld under the Seraph's secret orders. Why would another angel be here? Prince... You think that angel stole Flan's pendant? Hmm. 
surprised a love freak like you would have enemies. That's not possible. Angel would never steal my pendant. Oops. But only angels know about the pendant, right? Well... Ah, uh, forget it. We still have to find it regardless. I don't care what kind of trouble those Celestians stir up for themselves. Dot dot dot. Okay, so this is the area that I thought it was. So... I basically just want them to group together. Ooh, a rare Imperial Seal. That's kind of nice. Not expected, but pleasant. And for clarity, those rewards, I'm pretty sure, are 100% random. I don't know if they have to be items in certain slots or not, but I know 100% I did not get a rare Imperial Seal, which would be an upgrade for us, potentially. Okay, so here's the deal, chat. I want these characters to merge. So... What did I do last time? I think I went over here. I did something like this. I threw diagonally last time. Do I feel like trying to throw diagonal? I guess I could try. It is my least favorite technique in this game. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Do not like it. There we go. I will reset if I mess something up. There we go. I did it. I did it twice in one playthrough, chat. Then I just lift you out of the way briefly. I think this works. I think this won't kill, and if this kills, I'm resetting. It's that simple, chat. I, I think last time it did not kill. So I need these people to move forward, so I'm going to end my turn at some point. Yeah, so I basically just damage them for free. So that way I don't have to deal with as much of a health bar later. The question is, from here... Do I just end my turn or not? Hmm. I don't really care about the lives of these characters. Spoilers, it does not matter. Um... just throw them together for now. Let me double check. I just need more people out so I can throw more. We'll have that come over here. Why not? Yeah, their extra movement is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm definitely missing the quality of life in the later games where you get to set R2 and jump to other places. I find myself hitting it on occasion, and then I'm like, oh wait, it's not in this version. So I believe they will move forward. That'll save me a walk. Yeah, that's huge. Um... That means I can win them again if I want to. So now they're much less HP while merging, which is big. Now I just need to put them together. I can make that guy come over here if I want to. I think this will work. Do something like that. I grab this guy. I basically want them to end in the XP up. So, like, where this guy is currently, I want them to go. So I can move two of them here. Uh... Brain is processing. I think I could do... This? I don't know if it matters what monster dies. That's other. That's one thing that also kind of confused me with Disgaea 1. I think there were certain monsters that granted more XP than others. 
So I don't know, like, if technically I should combine the ones that are with me. That's the only thing I'm kind of thinking about. Like, for example, if you killed, like, the Wyverns, which we haven't really seen very much of in this game, I think we've seen them briefly as a senator, then those monsters would actually give more XP than not. Which is just a weird quirk with the system. So I think... If I kill them when it's with the other one, they will end up stronger? So I think what I want to do is... Let's see, chat. Moment of truth. Will this work? I think it will. I want to try using this guy. Because... I think this guy is worth more XP. I think. Okay, and then I could do this. So he's a little injured, but we could injure him a little more if we really wanted to. Now he should be higher level than the other people. Now if I throw him into things, it shouldn't matter. So he does have a lot of health, which is a little concerning. But you can see how, like, how much less health he has because he's combining with injured units. Having to kill like a thousand damage on this character would take forever, but this is actually not too bad. But I think this should work. So we're doing about 98, so I gotta hold him up four more times. I could do that. <laughs> right, chat? Now we have a super enemy on 100% XP, and he's got a 100 XP bonus, which is like, okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, whatever. Sorry, sorry, hit me. You gotta die for the cause here. And then we'll do a quick check at the nurse, since I don't remember what our stats were from last time. move you out of the way. Ogmizer was actually briefly useful, which was kind of nice. I guess I could have struck them for a little more damage, so I didn't have to lose as many people, but whatever. Alright, chat, we're here now. So one more. Bonk. So remember, Chad, I'm level 13 with 400 mana. Just remember that for later. Almost 6,000 hell just from that. That's kind of nice. What level am I now? I'm now level 26. Just, just a little bit of a jump, chat. You just, you know, a little bit of creative manipulation and leveling. Oh, look at that. Much better, right? <laughs> Yeah, really nice. 77 mana, too. Which is interesting. I think that's due to me having the broker, for clarity. Because I think every level equals mana. But if you remember, I got a 15 broker. So yeah, just got a little little extra out of everything there. It's kind of nice. Speaking of which... Um, do I want to get rid of anything? Weirdly enough, no. I mean, it is, like, slightly better, technically... But, like, not enough to make me give up the broker. Alright, let me just note how far we are in the chain. So I'm at 1,000 health, 776 SP, and 34 deaths. So, when I got the Devil Ring, I was above 40... I think it was at 40... Yeah, 45 kills, 1,000 SP, and a little over 2,000 health. So we need to slowly get there. I might as well heal some of it now. So I only really need five more deaths, I think, to get Devil Ring. And again, this is just for my own measurements. I'm sure that's not the exact number. And we need to take about 600 damage at some point and only need to use another 120 SP. And I should end up with Devil Ring. Huh. Right. So yeah, more importantly, Chad, we now have unlocked Overlord's Wrath, which is stupid. <laughs> just If you're wondering why Laharl is used... Not only does he have the fantastic fire element Blazing Knuckle, he has this ability, which is absolutely stupid. 
which you'll see in a moment. I'll even turn on the animation. So yeah, I think, I think we're doing good. I might as well resave over this file. So yeah, big level up, time save. Worker boost, how manager boost, man, I forget which boost XP. Yeah, we're not using statisticians. Yeah, between our brokers and managers, we have so much money and uh, mana. Continue onwards. Uh, I want to go home. Why is it so hot? Now I'm all sweaty. Well, welcome, uh, Kai. Prince, in this heat, Flan's gonna shrivel up before we find the pendant. Kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom. No, the medicine that a printy gave me seems to be helping. Huh? One of them gave you medicine? <laughs> Printies aren't that nice. You must be hallucinating. No, it's true. I feel much better now. Okay, which one of them was it then? Um. Same. Damn. Yeah, dot 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 that one, Etna. But, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. The heat must be getting to you after all. I like how she says they all look the same, but then earlier we saw the red printy. I'm telling the truth. Alright, so at this point we could just do whatever we want. We we have like hilariously good stats. So, what do I feel like doing? <laughs> the question of the day. How do I feel like clearing this area? Is this an XP thing? No, it's just a random sphere. Shame. Uh, let's go get our movement characters out here. I could line up for a blade slash maybe. Yeah, that seems pretty fair. And also wind cutter them. Hmm. I'm just like slightly shy of doing what I want to do. It's such a shame. And I guess I can always toss two people. Sorry, gonna die. You need to die. We rogue nine for now. Let's put six feet under down here. Be something like this, maybe. Let's see our damage, chat. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that seems fair. Sorry, my noble sacrifices. I need more deaths for the the ring. <laughs> right, chat. Die for me. It's not a gr I guess I could have grouped them a little differently to get Overlord's Wrath, but I don't think it matters at this point. We should just basically go around one-shotting everything. Go ahead, focus the brawler. Huber me. <laughs> Chat, that sad moment where they do a damage point to us. Oh, that I can throw myself into range of. Let's do something like Blade Rush. Nice. Move Red Shirt over here. So we got a chucking target. He's eviscerated as well. We'll, we'll end our turn. That way I could get a guaranteed action. Now I can lift. Now I can lift. Bro... I don't know if that's far enough, sadly. Hmm. That's not where I can throw him. I thought I could clear the gap. I should have counted tiles. I guess this should still be fine. Let's briefly turn on animations for chat so they can see this attack. Yeah, 
it. GG. Bite the dust. <laughs> Any leveled. Oh, that's just. That is disrespectful, chat. We're gonna turn friendly off. Hey, Flan and Omni mate. Oops. This is the Reaper's Unfortunately, power. chat scrolled right as I was trying to read it. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like leveling the other characters. There's no point. This game is pretty much solo, Laharl. Let's be real. So we're getting closer to using up all the SP that I want to burn, which is nice. Now I agree with remote battery. They're definitely definitely a risk of willing to take, quote unquote. Might as well as nurse up. I have enough to get another item if I want to, but right now I don't think I need anything. So we're almost at 45 deaths, which is my target, but I need to do 600 damage to myself somehow. Uh, We might be messing around with Muscle Hustle later, but I think I could get one more Muscle item if I just keep going. <laughs> I love the level 26 slot. Go to Blazing Field. Hey, for future reference, what kind of guy is this Seraph? Future reference? Yeah, I'm gonna end up fighting him one day. The least you could do is tell me. Well, I guess it's okay. No, it's not. Well... Master Lamington, the Seraph, is a very kind person. He loves flowers and poems. Now wait a second. I only want to hear about his weak points. Hmm. Do so you look up to the Seraph? Yes, of course. Is there someone that you look up to? Me, the late king. What? Did you don't look up to me? Nope. Why you? You call yourself a vassal? Yeah, sorta. Someone should teach you some manners. Enough of this. Let's find that pandit. Oh, excuse me, pendant. Alright, there we go. I scrolled up chat on my other screen. Yeah, you can technically teach other people spells, but it's not really needed. So this one seems like, oh, like, oh, look out, chat. There's so many, oh, there's so many booths. Oh, and then you go over here and you're like, oh. <laughs> right, chat? Just like, oh. <laughs> Just, oh. Well, I mean, I guess I can technically play briefly. Bonk. I mean, they're trying. I don't think it matters. I could get injured myself by standing on the damage tile. Not the worst idea ever. I guess it's a question of how fast do I feel like clearing the stage. So, no matter what, we should probably kill off a lot of characters. I don't think it matters who dies here. Let's kill all the story characters, because it's funny. Right, Chad, we don't need them alive. Okay, so now I'm going to way overshoot 45, which is good. So I don't have to worry about that, I think, for a while. Sorry, Rogue Nine. Unless this... Oh, this is bonus XP? Wait, I got a carry slightly. Hold on. I, these characters can still die. I don't care about them. We'll leave Rogue Nine alive, and then I'll level in Parameter and also Heart. But everybody else needs to die. All right. So that should put me still above 45 by quite a bit. We'll have Eviscerated go in. Hopefully I don't pull them. I pulled one. I mean, his job was to die, to be fair. Anyway.
sure. Let's get bonus experience, because why not? Right, chat? I mean, there's no downside. I might as well just pull them. What are they gonna do? Die, die sooner near me? Like, okay. I don't really care. I could stand on this to take damage, which I think I will. So I do need some HPs. Right? So now I now I have to take 110 less healing. And I can even do this if I want to. But I'm not going to. Okay, he got extra mana, so he's already at 659, which is way more than I ever need. So let's take some damage. So I should live long enough to get some kills, maybe. How kind of them to help me. I'd like Laharl to not die here, though. Mission accomplished. Right, chat? So now we just took, like, what, 500 damage? And I can even have these characters take some damage, because it doesn't matter. I can just heal them up. Genius level gameplay, chat. There we go. <laughs> take the damage. Uh, end turn. Fight should be over. Look how low they are. That's crazy. Anyway, fight's over. Let's see, what kind of levels did we give other people? Imperameter's now level 4. Good job, Imperameter. <laughs> you, you outleveled most of the party, which is somehow not an exaggeration. <laughs> most of my party's level 1. You did it, Imperameter. You almost caught up to Flan. Do I know how to steal Yay! units? I do, I'm not going to. Ooh, look at that! Chat! What did I say earlier? 2,000 health, 1,000 SP, 45 deaths? Yeah, there it is! Ooh, a level 19 manager? Ooh, I might not be able to say no to that. Ooh, do I get greedy? Oh, it is what I want. I'm gonna get greedy. Let's save. That tree's terrible. Redo. Teacher coach. A lot of brokers on the blood orb, which is unfortunate because I'm not gonna use that. Alright, we could do we could do better on the or or the devil ring. I don't need it to be crazy. I'd rather it be gladiator. No. Master and teacher don't work. I need it to be something else. No. Max punish chat. Damn. We had, it was a decent roll. Don't get me wrong. Oh, there's a manager and teacher. I might just take that. The rest are just kind of whatever. Actually, you know what? We got some time. <laughs> Let's burn a couple minutes, chat. Oh, if, see, if that was Gladiator Manager, I would have been happy. That would be the dream, but that, that's too greedy. I'm actually looking for Broker. I don't think I need Manager anymore for chat clarity. Like, Manager's nice, but I don't need it. Alright, I'll take the next one if it's a double citizen with Gladiator, and we'll move on. Technically, I could get the rare item from this, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. So unfortunate. There's a statistician. Chat was, like, really begging me to get this. I'm very tempted to re-roll this just to spite chat. I'm not going to lie. I don't care about statistician. I think I'm going to re-roll. I don't need experience. I'll take the 23 and attack, though. Yeah, I lose my arm master potentially, but I don't think any of this matters. Arms master is nice, but not needed.
Wait, did I not take it? Oh. Wait. Oh, it's in the warehouse. Oh, that, that gave me a scare chat. I was like, I need this item. <laughs> like, unambiguously, I need it. Um, yeah, I don't think I need manager for the rest of the run. I'm just gonna make this damage up. That's a pretty good boost. I'll leave arm master on for now, because it's better than manager. So there we go. We got a whole bunch of items. We have 1,200 hell, which is not too bad. I'm gonna move these over. So I could get an idea. So I'm gonna sell basically all of these, just so chat is aware. I don't care about anything on the other side. Let's get rid of rooster blood. I don't need that. Honestly, we're also at the point where I don't even need my safety heals at all, either. Yeah. I, the cure status ailment is always relevant, but I don't think anybody- I don't think anything else here really matters. It's gonna do this. So we're gonna sell basically all of this later. I could technically put an item on in Parameter just because I don't think I need the money. So there we go. Parameter got powered up. If I need money later, I can always sell it. So we need more money. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So I guess we're ready to go. So funny enough, Chad, I really don't have any other items that I'm looking for from where I played. Maybe there's something more interesting later, but that might be the last time we really manipulate the hospital. <laughs> Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. But what? The pendants shining. <laughs> Hot, hot, too hot! Oh, seems like the. I have no use for this anymore. Seems like the pendant rejected him. Maybe he's having too many devilish thoughts. Ow! Oh, that hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous. Hmm? This is a beautiful pendant. It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior. I thank you, oh god. Moron. What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called moi a moron? Or mid boss. Me! Oh, what a lucky day indeed to be able to confront my rival once again. Uh, wait a second. Since when did I become your rival? It's mid boss. You're still pestering us. We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Mid boss. May I have the pendant? It's mine. <laughs> With all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it. I beg of you. I I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. There you go. I found it. It belongs to me. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up. Don't put me on the same level as him. The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart. Mm -hmm. If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? Uh-oh, Chan. He's got a pure heart. What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes He should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Quite a pose. Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Enough! 
I told you, you're mid boss. <laughs> Say what you wish, but do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid boss. Hey, you just admitted that you're a mid boss. Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name Mid Boss again! Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! Unfortunately for him, I'm like level 28. <laughs> right, chat? I mean, like... He's technically a decent level. Just... I just don't care. Right, chat? Like... Like, he only has 217 attack? Like, that doesn't matter. Anyway. One thing that I noticed last time, and I'm thinking about if I want to do this or not in this stage, I don't like where the monsters are placed relative to him, but in theory, I could stack all the monsters into him. I believe bosses in Disgaea give bonus hell and experience for killing them. So as I said before, certain enemy types give more experience, and I think bosses are one of those kind of checkpoints. So he's technically a monster, because he's wearing a monster weapon. So I could throw stuff into him. I'll think about it. Ooh, hate problem. Also, I see that I didn't full heal myself after equipping the other thing, but whatever. Let's make him come to us a little more. So anyway, our damage is super good. Oh, they didn't move forward. Well, that's where it sucks to be them, I guess. So what I'm going to do is... Let's have Gunna Bite it, throw us a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. So I should just be one-shotting everything, especially thanks to Gladiator. But these monsters moving just don't matter at all. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother moving. Oh, look at that, chat. Look how conveniently they've plumped up for me. I'm going to put a decoy over here. So as I said before, I could throw this monster, for example, into him. I don't know if I want to. I mean, I... I... I, I guess I could. It just means I'm probably going to lose a few people. Also, question. Oh, just money for beating this stage? Well, whatever. Yeah, I mean, how tough can we possibly make him, chat? Before I do this, I can reach this guy, right? Okay, I just want to make sure. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw him closer to the other people. Game level 31, which is kind of high... Let's see how long this takes to kill them. 292? Ah, oh, that's not too bad. So that guy sh So Rogue 9 should be able to help with this, but I can have 6 feet under intercept. So we should be good here. We'll take the extra XP, I guess. Look at him taking that damage, chat. Poor boss. Well, if I needed deaths before... One more should kill him. Sorry, red shirt, the second you gotta go. This should be a lot of resources for us. And it leveled us. A lot of hell. A lot, a lot of hell. 
Wow. <laughs> right, chat? Wow, that's a lot. So, I could have probably merged one more person with him. I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle. But hey, we did get a level out of it, so we are very overstated right now. But let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. Or Dark Adonis. Like the printies making random poses and stuff in the background. Don't make such a pitiful face. Uh-oh, chat. Will it burn Laharl? Hmm. Isn't this what you're looking for? Laharl! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from you. <laughs> well, what's so funny? Thank you, Laharo. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Oh boy. I did skip over the dialogue, though, from when I was playing ahead, so I actually forget what happens. Although it's probably something uh, do dumb. Do I have to spell it out? The reward! Give me the something good you promised me! Oh, that. I already gave it to you. <laughs> oh boy. What? your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? The warmth inside your heart? <laughs> I was gonna say, in Laharl's case, I think it's lava, because he was just diving in the river there. You faced great danger to find this pendant. You pretend to be only evil, but there is definitely kindness in your heart. <laughs> she, little does she know the number of people we have killed, <laughs> right, chat? Don't let her see the ally kill from some of the other portions of the playthrough. <laughs> To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness, that is my reward for you. Ooh, look at that. That eight hyphens, double exclamation mark. Uh, uh, are you insane? How can you say something so crazy? Kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! Tell that to six feet under, exactly. Damn it! this deceiving the prince huh not bad at all really you look happy yes i am i now know that there is love within laharl's heart and if there is love inside him that means there is love in all demons one day angels and demons could be friends i couldn't be happier Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. But you're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Hmm, are you like that, Etna? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Damn that flan! She managed to survive. Hmm. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. Oh, Volcanus, you're wrong. She barely does anything in this playthrough. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Oh, consider yourself lucky this time, but I, Volcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end. Got that? Don't forget it. Even if I don't make an appearance for a while. 
little fourth wall break there. Promise me. Bye, Volcanus. Episode four, Gift from an Angel, and Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Peaches! In their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians. Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the Dark Durian Nine. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, a mysterious pinch hitter appears, awakening the Peach's true baseball spirit. And the soul burns brightly! You shouldn't play with fire. Next, on Mighty Slugger Etna, Episode 5, the miracle full face hat trick kickoff into tomorrow! Huh? Is this not baseball? Sure, we'll save the game. We are doing marvelously, chat. I got the double ring nice and early. So, yeah, I got pissed and kicked him right there. Just by manipulating Laharl's health lower, I didn't have to do the muscle spirit nonsense. Because I, I think when I tried before, I had to like kept re-equipping, unequipping at like 100 HP intervals at a time to try to find it. No, not quintuple hyphen double exclamation mark. <laughs> oh my! Is this Laharo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is indeed Terrace Pharma. There's something written on the back. What are you two laughing about? I can hear you from across the castle. But, but Prince, look at this! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's just a picture of what's so. <gasps> that is quite a face. I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. I'm a bit shocked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? It's a humiliating photo of you. I can see that. But who the hell took it? How should I know? By the way, something's written on the back. What? Dear Prince Dear Laharl. Prince Laharl, oh. an embarrassing photo of you is in my possession. I await your arrival in- I was ready, chat. If you choose to decline my challenge, copies of the photo will be scattered throughout the netherworld? It is my wish to contend for overlordship in a fair, agreeable manner. Hmm. I kind of remember Jotunheim. Damn it! Fair, agreeable manner? This is playing dirty. But isn't that the demon way? True, but this crosses the line. So, are you going or not? It's definitely a trap. Of course I'm going! If this picture is spread throughout the netherworld, I'll be ruined! Whoever you are, you just wait. I'll char you and your paparazzi shots in the eternal flames of hell! Episode 5, Etna's Secret. So I did say last time, I didn't think we were close to a bonus or alternate ending. And I totally forgot Jotunheim was this early. I thought it was a bit later in the playthrough, to be honest. So we'll be making a backup save before we complete this chapter. I don't think chat really wants to sit through me killing 100 allies over and over and over. <laughs> Just, that's how many I need to get the other ending. Very silly stuff, chat. We'll, we'll save that for Thursday's playthrough. The ending, not the grind, of course. The Supreme Overlord. An overlord who's more powerful than all the others. They say there is one who surpasses even him, the Lord of Terror. Hmm, there's no such thing as someone stronger than the Overlord. 
That's just a legend. Well, depending on our playthrough, we might see that. Whoever sent that challenge must have a lot of confidence. From one thing to the next, it must be hard, Prince. If you think so, then lend me a hand. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Thanks, Dragon. Actually, a father of two. The more you know, chat. Ah, oh, Prince, heard about the embarrassing photos. Never thought a demon like you would be into that kind of stuff. How could this be happening? My life will be over if those pictures get out. I, I'm not going to question what that means. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Let's see what happens here. Doubt and decision. This is for all my memories. Won't do any good feeling guilty now. Nothing more to lose. Who cares about anyone else? I have my own way of life. No one's gonna get in my way. This is my only option. So sadly, chat, we need to build up a lot of money, by the way. I think I spent around 62 or 64,000 for the next sword upgrade. So if you're wondering why I'm not exactly going to get more expensive stuff, quote-unquote. We don't have enough money still. Hopefully we will by the end of this chapter. We'll, we should be pretty close. Alright, time to make some safety saves, chat. We're just gonna flood my screen with these, because I don't need to go backwards at any point for any reason. There we go, chat. No matter what, <laughs> I will only have to redo this chapter if I mess something up. Uh, actually, let's talk to you. Jotunheim is a land so cold that even your blood freezes. Big deal, right? Alright, let's see what our level is. We're now level 29, which is hilariously good. We're at 7 in sword, which is good, because that means our, uh, arms master is still mattering. We have a couple of things to increase our SP if I really need it. I could sell this for money, but I don't think even if I sell this, I'll be that close. I'll show chat where our weapons are currently. This is it before. Our goal is to get to 63,000. You can see it's like, it's not too bad if I want to purchase stuff. I think I could sell the Blood Orb for another 5,000 or so. So yeah, so if I really need to, I can go, I could be at 35,000 right now. We're not in a rush. The location specified in the challenge was Jotunheim, correct? Why, is something wrong? Well, the gate that leads there is being opened from the other side. It's as if someone were waiting for you, Prince. Hmm, a confident foe, isn't he? Very well. This may be a trap, but I'll enjoy it anyway. Hmm. Well, chat, wish me luck. This one was a little annoying to figure out, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw this, you didn't get to see my initial reaction of, what is this? So ally damage is in the upper right, or the upper corner, not upper right. There are monsters all about. But I actually don't have to care about that at all. I'm going to be honest with you. It does not matter at all. The only thing that matters is I kill these three. I could also destroy the attack minus, but I think we're strong enough to still power through. Really a target height problem? That sucks. How much SP do I have? Oh, I have more than enough. <laughs> right, Chad? Sometimes we just gotta double check. So even with attack 50% chat, it just does not matter with our level. <laughs> just I just want you to know, it just absolutely doesn't matter. Um I could go kill the other gem if I want to. L Pepper is actually kind of annoying. Getting poison kind of sucks. I might actually have to heal here. So that's the only downside. These enemies are actually very, very annoying.
Oh, I forgot how little she heals. All right, that's fine. We should be able to cure it. Okay, three diagonal, which is what I wanted. Um, I think I can throw the symbol into people if I really want to. But I think realistically what I want to do is... Cure a status ailment. Poison there actually messed up my plans a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine, we should still be able to recover this. Alright, so I no longer take damage from that, which is good. Put this guy back in here. Other people should come to me, and this should be fine. Mostly just don't want to die to Hell Pepper. Everything else doesn't really matter what they do. Ha! I like how little damage they do as well, despite being level 12. I find that kind of funny. Anyway, I should be out of the danger zone now. Not the cleanest clear, but we'll take it. That was such a good bait. Alright, okay, so speaking of which... Oh, no XP. So I think once you hit level 10 or level 12, I think you get Braveheart on Red Skull, now that I'm thinking about it. Might be level 12. A little extra money doesn't hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and nurse up. I don't think anything is this up before matters here. Like, I could get Snake Kidney. I don't think this matters at all. Th this, basically, I could just sell it for money. Like, this is all this is, really. So we're gonna continue forward. Imp dot 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 dots. Who are these guys? I was looking forward to seeing what terrifying trap awaited me, but instead I find these puny little demons. Dot dot dot. What? You got something to say? A wonderful life. <gasps> World peace. <gasps> oh no, we're being hit by positive aspirations. Let's all be friends. when people are optimistic. Hmm. Is that so? Let's see. Eternal love. Ah! The most dreaded word in existence! You, you, you trying to kill me? But that's my favorite word. Oh, Flan. Damn it! How did they know my weakness? Hmm, However, could they know that his weakness? Oral sets have been temporarily decreased. I don't know if it matters still. <laughs> right, Chad? I don't I don't think this matters. Um But you're weak to fire, right? Yeah, you are, yeah. GG, right, chat? Oh no, chat, we only have 236 attack. Whatever. Um... Bonk. Thanks, Blazing Knuckle. Well, it can kind of hurt me. Spoilers, I'm too powerful. <laughs> Thanks, Blazing Knuckle. Still useful even though we have other abilities. 
Okay, this might do some damage to us. Which, again, just goes towards unlocking more items. Just, like, barely not do it, right, chat? Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah, that seems fair. Fools. Like those lone scouts? Yeah, those look like scouts. Again, we've gotten to the point where even with the penalty of having our stats, it just does not matter. <laughs> right, chat? We're like, oh no, not our stats, anything but that, anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thanks, extra level ups. It kinda hurt. As I said before, this just helps us unlock new items. How polite of them to assist. I guess I might as well use Wind Cutter to level it up. It is pretty good. Nice. Laharl Huffs. Are you alright, Laharl? Barely. You nearly finished me by saying that. You mean eternal love? Stop! You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? Prince, this isn't the time to be fooling around. We have to get that photo back. You think I don't know that? Dot dot dot. Uh oh. Regrets. Are you sure that we can allow this to continue? If I thought something needed to be done, I would have done it long ago. I have faith in her. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. You worry needlessly. But I understand. I shall take measures just in case. Hmm. We're coming up to probably my least favorite gag in the, in the game. Possibly the series, I'm not sure. Let's sort. I don't ever need this armor, so I could just sell this. What am I in terms of cash? Dad. As I said before, I'm probably gonna jump the blood orb. I definitely don't need the long spear. Let me just get rid of the basic healing. Now I can think about it from here. But if I really need to, I can be at 40,000. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and save over the other saves. That way I don't have to redo this. Right, chat? There's no way I could accidentally overwrite to a point that I can't make progress at the other ending. So, after we beat this one, the next one is a boss. So this is my last chance to do it. I guess I could have saved next chap- well, next stage, I guess, but whatever. This one has an interesting gimmick to it, but the jokes... I don't know. Chat will judge. Oh, what a cute little boy. Ah! Laharl, why are you screaming? I, I don't know why, but for some apparent reason, I can't stand women with sexy bodies. On a side note, flat-chested girls like you have absolutely no effect on me. Oof. Well, excuse us for being flat. Mm. <laughs> there we go. The boss has shown up, but we're not fighting him here. You're... It has been a while, Prince. Do you still remember me? How could I forget you? You're Medeiros, the vassal who was banished from the castle for stealing my old man's favorite snack, black pretzels. <sighs> now that's what I call pathetic. So, black pretzel snatcher slash outcast, what is it that you want from me now? I wish to become overlord, of course. <laughs> what a joke. What 
could you, a pathetic loser banished for stealing pretzels, possibly due to me? Stop talking so tough, Prince. I know all of your weaknesses. Isn't that right, Egna? Oh no, chat. Seven hyphens into double exclamation mark question mark. Etna, you? Etna dot dot dots. <laughs> you just realized it. Fool! Yes, Etna is my loyal dog. As long as I hold her memory in my hands, she'll do whatever I ask. Etna? Now, dear prince, this place shall become your grave. Etna, you've served your purpose. I am quite pleased with the results. Now die alongside your prince. But we had a deal! What about my memory? What use are memories to you when you are about to die? <laughs> it all makes sense now. No wonder he knew my weaknesses. You took those photos too, didn't you? Dot dot dot. Laharu, it was only because that demon stole her memory. Silence! I accept no excuses from a traitor! Stop blabbering and get these sexy women out of my sight! Thank you, Laharl. So anyway, this one is probably the most gimmicky stage. It's actually kind of fun in a casual playthrough. So if you look around, chat, every single tile is red, except for one. And the invincibility tile goes here. So you could, in theory, walk all the way over here, throw the red onto the green, and then make everything targetable. But, uh... We're, we're gonna go on a marvelous adventure, chat. Hmm. I don't know if it actually matters who gets merged here. As I said before, some of the nuance of the system is lost on me. Oh, you know what? This character has absolutely garbage defense. We're going to use this character to start off our chain. Although, if they're equal level, what happens? Actually, I didn't pay attention earlier. Wait, hold on. If... Oh, my brain isn't braining. Uh, this could be very bad. I mean, I can't die, but it would just make it take forever. I'm trying to remember, if there's two enemies of equal level and you throw one into another, is the one that's thrown merged, or is it the one that is stationary merged? I actually don't remember, and that would have been pertinent to probably denote in our playthrough. If attack sounds powerful, yeah. Huh. Well, we might be learning the hard way, chat. <laughs> so let's find out how bad this is going to be. That is... okay. That makes sense, but that's gonna really suck. Alright, so what I have to do is... I need somebody else with low defense. Alright, we have Marin. We're gonna start with Marin. <laughs> we got time. We're gonna break out the squad. We're gonna get Imperimeter out here. Fix our situation here. Get Rogue Nine out as well, because why not? Alright, because that defense is just way too high. I'm not going to be able to kill it when we're done merging. Get Red Shirt 2 out here as well. End our turn. We can't die, so I might as well just go here. Also, funny enough, I could build up basically infinite bonus by just having them attack us over and over. Because counterattacks go towards the bonus meter. You can see it just very slightly increased. So I need Marin to start our combo. So on the plus side, if I just want to build free meter, I could just have them attack us repeatedly. 
It's not a bad thing, to be honest with you. I'm gonna do something like this. So it's very likely I could get Dimensional Cape without any effort. The game really kind of expects you to do team attacks where, like, multiple people are doing normals and they might combo because they know each other. But, uh, yeah, none of that matters in our playthrough. We're gonna go over here. Operation in Protected Parameter. So we just need to keep track of where the low defense one is and then fix things. And again, the more counterattacks that we get, the better. This is just free items for me. Nekomatas have a high number of counters, so I can end up in quite a counter war with them. Okay, you're the one with the bad defense, right? Okay. Alright, so now we have two characters with bad defense. There we go, chat. The recovery. So you can see their stats can get kind of out of control. Look at that, they learned Evil Healing and Thunderbolt. And again, if I just want to get more counterattacks, I might as well just get in a position where I could still move around. Slowly move in. You know what, I'll have Imperimeter cast a spell, why not? So if I want to, I could just do normal attacks to uh, build up a combo. But I don't think the items here are any good. If this was XP, like chat, if that had been XP, XP, I absolutely would have spent turns trying to get it. But I could do something like this to build meter just to showcase something. Like, this will build up a lot of bonus gauge. Yeah, see that we're almost at rank 1. Now if I want to, I could just punch this person, for example, and probably get it. So close. So close to the rank 1. Uh, let's lift you up. That is not a super high level enemy. Yeah, they're a thousand plus L. Yeah, we could probably get up to a thousand without trying. We didn't get in a counterattack war. What a shame. This should help though. Oh, 90% and it didn't trigger. Unlucky. I cannot believe that is not leveled up. Oh well. It's fine. We don't have to grind it out. We can do this though. Yeah, I need like a I need like a five person chain, something like this. Then it'll build up a little more. Yeah, so sadly since we're not getting the counter we're going, it's gonna take a little while. Um I think any of this matters. But I'll take the free bonus gauge. Alright, so they did mostly what I wanted them to do, which is this. Let us go by. So you can see this enemy is already 112. <laughs> so they are annoying. It is what it is. We're throwing Imperimeter in there. So we just need people to basically lift and throw. At this point, I only really need two characters over there. We're basically going to throw her to the green tile. Okay, we're still able to damage the enemy. Just, just making sure. Never know. I almost threw her to the right spot in one try. Chat, that was so close. You have to give it to me on that one. Here. 
There we go. Look at that, chat. Nice and simple. Ooh, she heals for a lot when that happens. That kind of sucks. I mean, it might as well just normal attack for a little bit. On the plus side, if I need to get proficiency up, we're going to be getting pretty much proficiency 8 by the end of this, which is another 5% to our stats. That healing, though, is kind of annoying. She has so much SP still. Ooh, that damage is getting good. We're gonna be here a little while, chat. I could use abilities, but I want to build some proficiency while we're here. Just remember, every slice builds it. Yep, there we go. We hit the next proficiency rank. So now we get 5% more attack out of our weapons. And since I have Arm Master, it should go pretty quickly. So she's not using hip attack very often, and every counter attack ends up being a lot of damage for us. As long as we get one counter attack, it's worth it. Getting zero sucks. Yeah, you can see her proficiency is now not too bad, like 15% on the next one. So again, there's just extra stats from our future weapons. Goodbye, enemy. We're almost done here. Well, I say that and then that happens. I guess I could speed it up with a little bit of Hurricane Slash. Oh, the back-to-back -back hip attack really sucks. I mean, I could just lift her technically in between. But the way I view this, I'm just getting free proficiency. So I don't really care. If she wants to waste time, that's fine. On the plus side, this guy, Rogue's 9 Fist Ability. Oh, because he hasn't landed a hit, it hasn't gone up. Oh, that's so sad. I was gonna say, he's been counterattacking this entire time, but he hasn't been able to hit. Oh, that's a shame. So we do need to actually strike. Next turn kills, unless they hip attack. Poor Rogue 9. Rogue 9 tried. We almost got bonus gauge 1. I think it's maybe worth just doing it at this point. Seeing if I could get a big team attack. I'm gonna end my turn here. I mean, if we put in all that effort, right, Chad? We might as well take it all the way to the end. Something like this. They should not possibly be able to hurt this creature, so I should not be too worried. Just need to provoke a counterattack. We're here. And again, combos add to the meter quite easily. Oh, we're so close to getting level 1. This should do it. We're not. We didn't get the counterattack. I mean, if we don't counterattack, we're not going to get it. That poor enemy is trying so hard to kill us. Now it shouldn't matter if we counter. The counter's nice. Oh wait, the meter goes under the zero? I didn't know that. Okay, chat, you know what? I'm determined. We're gonna get this level up. It's absolutely not needed for the run, but now I just want it. So anyway, this is how I got proficiency before, by the way, chat. When I was playing casually a long time ago. Oh, he actually landed a hit. He did it. Well, anyway. Die. I'm actually kind of happy that didn't kill, because splitting the mana there, or XP there, would have been bad. Okay, let's end this with a nice little Hurricane Slash. Yeah, look look at the money we got from this chat. Look at that money. <laughs> look at that money total. That's what I'm talking about. See, we almost can afford the next upgrade due to that. So I need 10,000 more and I could just go purchase it.
I don't think there's anything else of interest to get from healing. We got mostly what I was looking for. So yeah, technically I could afford it right now if I really, really wanted. It's all this for now. Need this for now. I mean, I'll pretty much have it when I beat the next episode anyway. So I'm not in a rush. I don't need it for the upcoming fight. So let's save over every save file so that I can come back to this later. <laughs> right, chat? All of them should be about where we need to be. Good enough. Okay, so. I guess we're gonna go beat it. Sadly, no XP ups from the stage. If we had gotten a few more 800s, I think a parameter might have been really close to 10 by this point, but unfortunately it looks like we're not getting the XP ups, which we'll probably get a chance. Worst comes to worst, I can form a giant tower of people and force a parameter to get a kill in order to level, which we might do, but I'm not in a rush. I need it for when we're in like six or seven dungeons from now. I don't need it literally right now. If I got it now, it would be nice. Do you know what I mean? It'd just be nice. But oh hell yeah to Kirk. Mm. You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? But your luck ends here. Hi there, little boy. <laughs> That's not all. Take this! A ray of hope. Oh! A pure heart. Stop it! <laughs> Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? <laughs> Laharl, hang in there! Whoa! Hold it right there! When a lovely flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. They call me the Dark Adonis. Who are you? What is your name? As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere, and you shall regret it. My, you are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous to moi? You seem to be working your way into quite a predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. There you go, Chad. Self-proclaimed rival to save the day. Warn me? Laharl, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. There you go, chat. Just open your mind's eye. Easy, duh. My mind's eye? Now's the time to set your mind free. Awaken to your power. We already did mid-boss. We've been using Overlord Wrath for a while. But also, chat, there's one more attack we can unlock, which is also hilariously dumb. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, because it's kind of it's expensive with SP. But, uh, yeah. We have even more giant AoE death balls we can just throw at people. That was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Oof. Oh, in that case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. There we go, chat. <laughs> Now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Madeiras. Hmm. Etna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl. If you refuse, I'll erase your memory for good. Go ahead, why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince so that you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still managed to hear that one line? That's right. It
It was because of the poison, but I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So, I devised a plan to escape from under his thumb. Vivin, why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? Let me explain it then. I was waiting for just the right moment to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll lead my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. How dare you turn against me, you double-crossing backstabber! Ah, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. Damn it! Brinnies, make mincemeat out of her! I was gonna say, the guitar is just going off in the background of this conversation. Dude... Dude, chat. Brinnies? You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the Prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the prince was my bait. Huh. Using me as bait? You're one ruthless girl. Oh, prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Flan or Midboss were part of the plan. Hmm, women are scary. Oh, Midboss. <sighs> From this day on, you're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? There we go, chat. I just, I just kind of feel bad for the enemies. They have 67 defense. As a reminder, we're now at level 33 thanks to the other kills. Just, uh, it's a lot, chat. I think we can all agree it's, it's a lot of stats. We have more defense than some of their other stats combined. So I think he could barely hurt us. Golem can probably hurt us. The others I'm not worried about at all. So I think at this point we're just going to go on a killing spree. Um, You know what? Gonna bite it's going to help us out a little first. Oh, I was hoping for XP. Damn, chat, we got denied again. I mean, we got a ninja sword, which we were using earlier in the playthrough, if I remember correctly. It was the thing before magic sword. Oh, oops, I didn't think about that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I do then. Sure. Anyway, I'm not really worried about anything here. Oh, they, they lined up for me beautifully. I can just back up slightly. We're in a good position. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Chad, I'll take that. The boss did 16 to us. That's it. Oh man, do I have to do I have to upgrade this boss before we kill him? Chad, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> like that's all he did. That's it. Oh man. I mean, I guess nothing stops me from doing this. I think he was gonna do a little more damage than that, you know what I mean? Like, just a little bit. Alright, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna do this to weaken him. And the reason I wanna do that is so that I can set up for this. I want this character to come over here. Uh, this should work in theory. I had a feeling the boss would take over the stats. 
That's a good assumption there. So bosses ignore the normal rules of merging. I was really worried I was going to kill them out right there. I'm not going to lie. Um... Oh boy, what are the odds that I'm going to get the diagonal throw that I'm looking for? Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? What? That was weird. I had, like, the cursor, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh, that is such a risky diagonal. I don't know if I want to do that. If I flick and hit over there, it's going to waste so much time. I don't think I'm going to risk it. So what I need to do is... Lift this temporarily. Throw here. So now this character is also injured. Put you back down. Throw you here. Alright, as long as I'm doing it like this, this should work. And I can wound him now. Because that's better than nothing. So now they're pretty low on health. All I gotta do is lift twice. This should work. Oh. Ending a turn with an ally on you kills you? Uh oh. I thought that only applied to enemies. Hmm. I now have to check the ally kill count chat. I was not expecting to get a kill there. Hope that did not count. We'll find out though if it did, I suppose. Kind of unfortunate. I mean, fortunately, it's just one stage if I have to redo it, but it is kind of annoying that it happened. Alright, fingers crossed, chat, that did not count as an ally kill. Okay, so we got extra levels. Forgive me, oh, Master Etna. Your strength, beauty, and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the netherworld. Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll forgive you. You know what I want, right? Y yes I will return Masala Harald's candid photos immediately, as well as your memory. I'll return everything. Daris succumbed to fear and pledged his allegiance to Etna. Daris joined your party without your consent. Ooh, well, that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. You tried to poison me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vessel are you? But, 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 Laharl! But? But I don't mind that side of you. <laughs> there we go. A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Prince! Listen up. I'm gonna work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne, an accident may happen. I'm thinking Disgaea 1 doesn't count that as an ally kill. I think other games do count it. It's one of those things where they change the rules over time. I think that did not count, fortunately. Hm. You can take my place if that happens. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. 
I like how their friendship thing is like, I'm gonna kill you if you mess up, right, chat? Like, friendship attained. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconcile, despite all that's happened. I don't understand it, but I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I have never experienced anything like this before in Celestia. Episode 5, Etna's Secret End. True friendship, welcome Kaiser. Hey wait! Everyone! Are you not forgetting someone? Poor mid-boss. Etna's Secret End, it just continues anyway. Hi everybody! I'm Etna! I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary! You look and act like a first grader, that's for sure. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute boyfriend. Boyfriend? That's dumb. Lovely sexy! Hey, no touching! Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves! Who'd want to touch you? Next on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6, Curse You Flawed! Get ready to be spellbound! Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Not at all! Sure, let's save over our current file. Hey, there's one that I was level 29 at, so let's just save over that one. Dear sirs and madams, I hope the- Dear sirs and madams, oh, never mind. I hope these dark days find you well. However, I, Laharl, am deeply concerned with the state of the netherworld. I am well aware that unnecessary bloodshed is not your desire. Therefore, I am writing to propose a formal challenge. An event with my father's title at stake. The title of Overlord. The rules are simple. On Curse Day, in the month of the Adder, I shall journey to the heart of evil, carrying with me the official deed. The one who wrests the deed from my hand shall be recognized as the new Overlord. In the event that I reach my destination still in possession of the deed, I shall assume the position myself. To those with great ambition, I encourage you to participate. Sincerely, Prince Laharl. What do you think? Excellent penmanship, huh? Y yes but according to the Netherworld calendar, isn't today the designated day? That's right. I've ordered the printies to spread copies of this letter all over the Netherworld. The demons aiming to become Overlord are probably lying in ambush right now. Um, Prince, is this offer open to anyone? Are you an idiot? Don't you get it? There's no deed for the position of Overlord. Huh? This is a trap. Oh no, chat. It's a trap. Look at what's happened recently. I thought that I might as well get rid of anyone still planning to claim the throne. Oh, I see. And when I've defeated them all, I will be the unquestioned overlord. <laughs> Episode 6, Laharl's Challenge. Okay, chat, moment of truth. We're, we're gonna beeline, we're gonna ignore all the conversations. Did that count as an ally kill? I almost feel like that should be a Twitch gamble. <laughs> do, do I have to reset right now? Yes, no. Let's find out. Woo, didn't count. <laughs> there you go, chat. Well, we learned another way to kill people in Disgaea 1. All right, now we can go back. Also, we have enough to get a super weapon, so I might as well do that. I don't even have to sell anything, so we're, like, way ahead. How are we doing in terms of levels, by the way? 35. Wow. We are disgustingly overstated, and I love it. Given, given that we literally have not repeated a single stage, I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Oh, all the demons here are missing, I've noticed. Oh. Oh, are we gonna kill all the people we met before? That's unfortunate. I think we get replacements, if nothing else. 
But anyway, let's go in here then. Yeah, yeah, you feel a breeze. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Give it to the king. The memories matter is still for me are starting to return. They'll come back to me with time. Still, the prince really surprised me. How did he kill any traitors? Prepare to accept my punishment. Why did he forgive me? I don't understand, but I have a feeling the king would have done the same thing. More like his father than he seems. Oh yeah, speaking of which... We have Medeiros who's level 19. So, I mean, he's got good stats. Compared to the rest of the party. But I mean, he's no Laharl, so we're not gonna... I mean, we might use him, but it'll be his resonant decoy. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, we just don't care. Anyway, since we did not mess up, let's go ahead and save over arbitrarily one of these save files. I think we're ready to do a more expensive bill. Also, my mana account is hilarious. What the heck is that? <laughs> that is more mana than when I did this the first time. So definitely combining enemies has done some funny things with uh, the manager. And definitely my XP is much higher than before. I think we're ready to do a... Uh, I guess more expensive stuff. We might have to reset here. We'll find out. Oh? oh okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's double check. Is that the right number of bills for the next one? I don't want to go too quickly through here. No. Well, there's a 66,000. Right, let's reset. On better weapon. There's Psychic Sword. It rolled with Dietitian and hit? Wow, we, we, we could do better than that, chat. A little, a little better than that. Like, come on. Ooh. One with Gladiator? <gasps> tempting. That was tempting. It rolled very low. That's the only reason why I reset it. If it had Gladiator and Marksman, I would have snap keeped it, but... We're gonna reset a couple times. The downside of Disgaea, you don't get guaranteed weapons, so we had one sword in that entire list, which kind of sucks. Might be here for a minute or two, chat. Sorry about this. Nothing I can really do about it, other than just accept bad weapons. Come on. Now, that is much better, chat. Instead of taking, what was it, a 13 Gladiator, we now have a 39 in attack. Like, okay. Yeah, that was worth the reroll. Absolutely. Look at that damage increase. We go from 530 to 674. We lose a little bit of hit, but wow. What a damage jump for us, chat. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. And we can sell our other weapons because we don't need them. See that? We even have money to heal our allies. So yeah, that was absolutely worth it. Speaking of which... We're at 3,000 health, 1,400 SP, and 55 deaths. I don't think I need to worry about deaths at all. I think I'm, like, way ahead of where I should be. I mean, I could still kill people, but... Yeah, much better than when I did it before. Okay, so... Is it even worth doing another promotion exam? Hmm. One second, chat, as I check my notes. Did I bother doing that? No. Alright, well, if I didn't bother doing it in my notes, I'm not gonna bother right now. We'd always do it later. Good morning, Prince. Morning. Uh, is it me or am I missing vassals? Do not worry, they're all waiting to ambush you at Blair Forest, Prince. Those idiots! Now we're at Blair Forest. See, so yeah, we got a massive increase. Let's go to Calamity Woods. I remember merging people in, in a casual playthrough here. I still could, given that we got a super powerful weapon. I'm way higher level than when I did this earlier. I'm feeling pretty confident we could get some cheeky kills in here. Hey. Yes? 
I encourage everyone to participate, but... Yeah, look how many enemies this is, chat. You can imagine in my first playthrough, casually, off-screen, I merged all these monsters. <laughs> not, not on this save file, but back on the PS2. Isn't this a bit much? The more the merrier, they say. So hey, if you were missing any monster classes, time to just kill a million of them. Blonde, when it comes to sayings, you're all thumbs. You're not much better. Anyways, what are we going to do about all these guys? It's not even room to walk. It looks like we'll have to take them on one by one. Oh, great. Can't wait to see what's after this. I mean, again, normally this would be a very interesting challenge, but uh, we're kind of bonkers busted. Damn, no XP up again, chat. That's all I'm looking for. The moment we get an XP up, I'm pretty sure the parameter is going to hit like a whole new level. Although it is funny having Madeiras here. Um, I guess I could just wind cut her, right? Oh yeah, that's the power I'm talking about. Um, sure. We'll have the vampire block for us. Why not? Look, chat, he's got stats. He's taking an okay number of hits. So if I need to get more HP up, this is pretty good. Right, chat, we're not even we're not even leveling. We're just slapping them from existence. Um I guess I could get Hogmiser killed. He's got a lot of health. You know what, if they just don't kill him, I'll take that too, right chat? This is more healthy heal later. We're gonna move back a tile. I guess I'm gonna, gonna die block for us briefly. Oh, she just got bodied. None of the other enemies seem to want to move very much. You take advantage of. So yes, remember, the stats of the sword are getting multiplied by 40% because we have 8 ranks. So our weapons stats are going to keep scaling faster than our base level stats. Let's see if anybody else makes a move. No. Hmm. Alright, well, let's deal with a couple of these. Let's move forward a little bit, see if they walk forward. I'm actually worried about being poisoned. That's like the only thing I don't want to deal with. Something like this. Get a couple more character deaths. Nice little level up there, chat. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident I could just hold forward and win. Oh, Hell Pepper. I didn't see that enemy there. That kind of sucks. That is why we took some cure status ailment stuff earlier. Right now, I don't need to use it, but we'll lure them in. We might go buy some extra when we're back at the shop later. Who would have thought that item was actually the most useful thing in our playthrough? Not healing, not SP up.
Okay, so what we can do is use red shirt to throw. extra damage, move forward to encourage them to attack us. We didn't get any kind of crazy merges, but we did get extra stats, which is nice. But on the plus side, we did get injured. So I guess in a way, we still got what I kind of wanted anyway. Hmm. something like this. money out of it too. So I could get all my status ailments cured, etc. So once we get another 100,000, I will consider... Wow, we have so much more than I think when I did this earlier. Yeah, I think when I did it before, I was at like 3,000 health damage and about 1,500 SPUs. So SP hasn't really changed much in between, but man, that HP taken. What a big difference. Well, let's proceed. Go to the ritual site. I have been waiting for thee. Thou art Lord Laharl, art thou not? Ooh, she seems a bit more serious than that last bunch. She does not appear to be an ordinary swordswoman. How exciting! My name is Sardia, the Demon Slayer. My sword hath slayeth over 2,000 demons. Incredible. Or was it under 2,000? Which is it? When I swingeth my sword, the earth shall be torn asunder. Amazing! The earth splits open? Perhaps. Make up your mind, damn it. What dost, what dost thou thinketh? How should I know? Trying to make a fool out of me? I'll make you moan in pain. Prince, did you mean to say scream in pain? Mm hmm. Let's see what level this character is. <laughs> Chat. Oh, isn't that cute? Only level 24. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> oh, XP. Oh, now I care. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, now you have my interest. Alright, we need, uh... We'll put the heart over here. Parameter needs some experience. Let's also level Rogue 9. There we go. Um... Do I even need to do anything? I'm gonna walk forward, and then... If she wants to kill the other character, it doesn't really matter. Perfect. Hmm. How much damage do we do to her out of curiosity? I I only have to sacrifice two, two or three people. Is this it before? I don't know what the, th the total is. I might need a hundred for the next big item. But I don't know if I'll get the next big item before we beat the game. That's the other thing. I'm like, ah, uh, I haven't really tried this before. We'll find out, I guess. Goodbye. I guess I could technically put, like, Lon out and Edna, I guess, technically. If I wanted them to get levels. Sure, we'll even put Planeer out. Who cares? Next hit should kill. Sure, we're leveling the other characters for free. 
Bonk. Yeah, let's see what they did to everybody's levels. Etna's now level 6. I think she was level 1 before, for clarity chat. Okay, and Parameter's level 6. So getting closer. Lanier's level 6 as well. Rogue 9 is level 6 as well. So he's now adding 3 attack to her protagonist? Not that it matters that much. We now have 60 deaths. Excellent. <laughs> I'm now feeling nervous, so I'm just saving every time. I don't need to, need to, but... Come on. Go to 7-3. Prinnies. What? You're not allowed to pull off a coup d'etat without me. I'm the one who's supposed to kill the prince. Etna, it might not be such a good idea to announce that in front of the person in question. We know a head-on attack is suicide, dude. Hmm. You have a plan then? That's right, dude. All right. Let's go, dudes. Here we go, chat. Their plan. Challenge you to a game of face off, dude. Play Etna. Yes. Kill him. Certainly. Poor Prinnies. So sadly, I can't merge them because throwing them kills them. <sighs> no XP. In like three or four chapters, any XP bonus will be huge. Yeah, I don't think they can stop us. Oh, we hit mastery level nine recently. We almost hit 700 attack power chat. This is gross. <laughs> it couldn't even hit us. Oh no, chat. Oh no, no, run, Prinny's run. I'm too over leveled. I'm not even doing anything other than story missions and one forced item map. Oh, there we go. They heard us. Good job. You did it. Now perish. The Reaper's power. Oh my gosh, the killing spree. I mean, I guess I could try to level Hurricane Slash more. Might as well burn some SP. Level some Wind Cutter, maybe. Yeah, I forget how technique damage is if it's like 5% per level. That I don't remember as well offhand. It's one of those things where you just have to kind of test it. I just don't remember. So whatever. I guess leveling up the weapon technique is nice. Oh, they're just trying to hide from me. It doesn't matter though. Wind Cutter doesn't care where you are. Those poor dudes indeed. Hope you're feeling better today, Chris. It's an absolute massacre at the moment. Bonk. Extra hell. Eh. I think we're fine. So as I said before, our next goal is to get to 100,000. That's the next weapon and uh, belt threshold. Once that happens, I could do double expensive bills, and I think that'll put me where I need to be. I think. Let's go to Blair Forest. Writhing Shadow. <laughs> there you go, chat. So big you only see the foot. Kid, are you Krichevskoy's son? Who are you? Me? I am the overlord of an alternate netherworld. An alternate netherworld? That's right. I tried taking over this world before, but Krichevskoy got him away. Now that he's dead, I'll claim it for my own. You are just one of the overlords that I will crush on my way to becoming the supreme overlord. Puny boy. What you see before you 
represents only a fraction of my power. Well, that's really hard to tell since I can only see part of you. Yep, you're just too big. The dragon is a prime target for DF, so true. Fine. If it's size you're concerned about, I can make adjustments. But even so, a horrible death still awaits you. Feel my wrath. Here I go. Chat words to take part. We cannot possibly lose to someone like that. Ooh, Flan's burning with determination. You like this stuff, don't you? Yes, I love this stuff. Now let's go, everybody. So, Cat might notice a problem. All of these characters are level 75. Hmm. <laughs> the, the bonus for winning is just a cat claw? Okay, whatever. Now, question. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna see if this saves time. I've not tried this before. Okay, good. So anyway, instead of fighting a battle I can't win, <laughs> just hit the quit button. <laughs> there you go, chat. Ultimate shortcut. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm not doing this fight. Ugh. His love is divided ten ways. Yeah, sure. That's a big help, you loony angel. Hmm. That's odd. Isn't the hero supposed to win? Um. We're demons, not heroes. <laughs> Even if my power is divided, an overlord is still an overlord. When no matter how many puny boys like you there were, I'd crush them all. But the son of Krzyzewskoy would be a lot tougher, but I guess I was wrong. Damn it. Die, punk. Say hello to Krzyzewskoy in, in hell. Wait just a minute. Look, Chad, our vassals are here. You guys? Who are you? We are the loyal vassals of King Krzyzewskoy. You dare set foot in our world? We'll defeat you in the name of the late king. Well, yeah, Chad, if you want to rename these NPCs, let me know at some point. I, I mentioned that last stream. Hmm. Prince, let us handle this. Been waiting here in case our help was needed. Liars. We're here to ambush the prince just like the others. Isn't that right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh -huh. Of course not. Oh, come now. Looks like you hit the nail on the head. Why is it I don't have any luck with vassals? Come now. We were here to help you in your time of need, right? Only because you're waiting to ambush me. Hey, quit ignoring me. I said you all to join Krzyzewskoy. Prepare yourselves. So anyway, hmm. do not underestimate us. We'll defeat you in the name of Overlord Krzyzewskoy. Yeah, a lot of the disguises, starting with the first game, have a battle that's quote-unquote unwinnable. The later games, you can get alternate endings if you beat the unwinnable battle. This one I don't think actually does have one. I know Disgaea 2 definitely does. Oh, it changed to Bushido armor. Lame. Don't care about that. So anyway, we need to uh, send in Sacrificial Pawns, so let's have the Vampire block or something. I could try to steal a kill. 
Oh, well, until that happened. Maybe? Right, chat? Maybe it's doable. Depends on how low this one is. 595. Maybe that's stealable? Might actually be able to kill this. It's gonna take more than one turn, but I think I can do it in a way that would help me. Oh, we're so close. So here's what I'm gonna do. There we go, chat. The genius level play. <laughs> I want that XP, chat. Listen. <laughs> I'm not giving up free XP. Absolutely. Oh, look how much hell that is, chat. Wow. From that one kill. That was from the one kill. Wow, could you imagine if I stole more kills? Wow, maybe I should have. Oh well. We'll be returning to the castle now. Take care, Prince. Oh well, we have more opportunities at higher levels. I think the game goes up to like 150 or so. So it's not like we won't see that level of enemies again. I'm actually pretty strong. A wise Falcon hides its talons. The say that saying fits perfectly. they stop hiding their talents when it comes to working for me. Yeah, we got we got a easy extra kill we were not supposed to get. It's like whatever. What level are we now? 42. <laughs> oh chat. Oh no. We're just so high level. Again, we'll we'll do a safety check. That did not count. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I mean, now, I mean, we were at, like, what, 698 attack before? We're now at 745. So that's kind of a significant jump for us, to be honest, getting that extra kill. Wow, almost 5,000 HP restored. Nice. So we're halfway to getting another increase. I feel so bad for these enemies, chat. I mean, what can they even do to us? If they don't poison us, this is basically GG at this point. We have so many raw stats. Oh, here we go, chat. I'm sure Chris will love this. When the darkness of evil draws near, we appear out of nowhere. The three lights of justice save the world with courage and hope. Together, we are. The Prism Rangers! Please, someone normal come out! Cool! Hey, Edna! How about we do our own poses? Oh, are you serious? You better believe it! Um, but I have a question for you guys. A question? Go ahead, shoot! You call yourselves Prism Rangers, but you only have three colors. That's not even enough for a rainbow. Isn't it obvious? We don't have any friends. There you go, chat. Being a hero is a lonely existence. You got it? Are you sure there's not another reason why you don't have any friends? You guys are heroes, aren't you? Why would you want to be overlords? We want friends, of course. If we become the overlords, then we'll have tons of friends. And the Prism Rangers will have all the colors of the rainbow. Here we go. Blue, yellow, transform. Stay. <laughs> Blue, yellow. This can't be happening. Blue and yellow have been shot. I can't transform on my own! Curse you! 
shooting before we even have a chance to transform? How inconsiderate! Are you demons? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh! I completely forgot about that! Is your helmet on too tight? You should have transformed first, then come out. That's not how it's supposed to be. A true defender of justice transforms in front of the enemy. Flan, which side are you on? Then I'll just have to play my ace card. The demons I hired will help me. Is it okay for a hero to be using demons? Of course. Justice must never lose, no matter what the means. Blue, yellow, your deaths have awakened a burning passion in my heart. Uh, I avoided hitting any vital spots, so they should still be alive. Evil fiends, are you ready? Face the power of justice! Poor enemies. Oh, right, right, this gimmick. I kind of want to see Swift Justice, but this field effect is super annoying, Chad. So, as you can see, at the end of every turn, I'm going to teleport to anywhere where there is red. Oh boy. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh boy. Um... Oh boy. Right, chat? <laughs> well, I found myself. I might want to just end the warp effect. <gasps> Don't do enough to kill it. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. It's at an angle, so I can't hit it with most attacks. Oh boy, chat, we're gonna be here a while. Hmm. I think you need to die. I could, in theory, merge the enemies together, but yeah, there's no point. Oh, Prison Red, you meleeed me? That's not a good idea. <laughs> right, chat, that's a terrible idea. If we're lucky, we end up here again. Oh, we that was so lucky. Alright, we, we could have spawned anywhere, chat. Let me be very clear. We could have been anywhere on this map. We could have been waiting forever to kill that. Alright, so now I can actually merge them together if I want to. Which is also kind of annoying, because one's over there. Uh, right, chat? Just, uh, what an annoying position to be put in. Well, also, are we getting XP here? No, of course not. Well, I might as well just give him XP or something. Okay. Oh, that's surprised they actually reached me from there. On the plus side, chat, we're just going around one-shotting everything thanks to our levels. We'll get there eventually. Let the enemy slowly come to me. Poor Prism Red. Ooh, he made the miss. Oh, and I leveled on him? Damn. That was disrespectful, chat. Big oof to him. Alright, so the other enemy should come to me, and I can merge them all together. 
If I just wait a little bit longer, they could be at a reasonable distance from each other. Wait one more turn, and I think I got them set up. Perfect. All right, Chan, you might as well get the bonus XP. I don't think this is necessary to do, but I'm not going to say no. Salvage that. I think so. Uh, yeah, they're in kind of a weird pos position. I don't think there's much I could do about that. Unless I stand over here and throw them together. Which could happen, I guess. Repulse repulses fighting the rangers, something like that. Do something like this. Try to diagonal throw to save this. Very annoying though, as you can see. There we go. Doing some annoying diagonal throws. What do we got there? Oh, he didn't even attack? Oh. Fool. <laughs> right, chat? Like, oh. I mean, absolutely at this point, right? Sadly, no XP up. This would have been a great stage for it. So we're going to get another level 68 killed. It should increase our health significantly. So we're about 30k from another weapon upgrade. I don't think there's too much more we're going to get from the nurse for a while. Like maybe towards the end of the game we might see stuff again. But I'm not expecting anything before the end of this chapter. We'll go to Blair Forest. We'll go to... Well, I guess we'll call this 7-6, because that's how I wrote it in the notes. Let's see what this place is all about. Prince, is this the heart of evil? That's right. No one's here. Which means... Now hold it right there! It's Mythos again! What do you want? I'm busy right now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. You weren't thinking of calling yourself the Overlord without first settling things with moi, were you? I already settled things with you. Twice, as a matter of fact. Silly you! Did you think that I was serious? Weren't you? Not at all! That was merely camouflage, so that you would let your guard down. Camouflage. Now, you shall witness my true power! I have attained ultra speed by training and training and training, all while wearing 100-ton boxers! Can your eyes keep up with moi? Here I come! The throne is mine! Hmm... We have a really good opportunity for some shenanigans. Hmm. The question is, how many of them do I kill? Mm -mm -mm -mm, chat. So, 
reminder, bosses are worth a lot of experience. We have a lot of things we could combine into mid-boss. The question is not running out of people to do so. Okay, good, no XP up. Uh Let's weaken them a little bit. I'm gonna let them come towards me. basically want these guys to come over here. Hmm. Start forming a mega unit. I like that this enemy is asleep. I could throw them into the guy that's sleeping. That would also save me a lot of time, actually. Right, chat? Like, okay. I mean, I might as well take advantage of the situation. Hmm. Guess this is fun. So he's sleeping, so he can merge with the other characters. The question is, how much do I try to injure them? Don't really want to wake them up. Hmm. Still dispatch two more. I merge these two together if I want to. This guy is such a high level, it shouldn't matter. enemies are here. One. Oh no, that'll put him at the same level. Well, no, no, because I'm going to throw them at the other guy anyway. Actually, this shouldn't matter. Then I can throw these two together. Before I do that, I have one character here. Yes, that should be. Now that is a high level enemy chat. So then we're going to use target. Throw into here. So we can level up that other boss by quite a bit. Right, so they're not doing anything this turn. Perfect. The other enemy's not moving. Okay. I'm gonna put away my other allies so they don't die, because I might need to hold them for the boss. You know what I mean? Because the boss is gonna be like 180 plus, right? 20, 20, 120, plus 20, like 160-ish. Uh... Yeah, let's just hold off for now. Have the other one come over here. Then I can also just reach him this turn. So if he doesn't move this turn, I'm just gonna go grab him. Okay, he did move this turn. Good. I just figured it would save me a walk. So this guy being asleep is actually so huge. That is very cheesy RNG. But you know what, chat? We're, we're gonna take the cheesiest of RNG. level. He's still asleep, by the way, which is very funny to me. So if I don't approach him, I can hit this guy and then have him merge? Yeah, I think I could do that. Uh, wow, that sleep lasts forever, chat. Can we talk about that? Holy. There's no way I'm killing him in one hit, so we might as well just wound him here.
All right, so it's a little less damage. He's still asleep after that? Oh. Oh, I would have been hitting him earlier. I forgot how sleep works, but hey, at least we did wound him a little bit. Oh boy, this is gonna be something. Um, I probably wanna keep hitting him with spells then before they merge. Once they merge, it's gonna be a nightmare. That, that did legit zero. Yeah, I might not be strong enough then. If that didn't do damage, whatever. Well, let's hope we have enough uh, damage to kill. Yeah, I, I would have been smacking it for like two more turns had I realized that. Oh well. I got height problem. All right, we're still doing 300, so I need to survive 10-ish turns. That's gonna be a little rough. I think chat will agree. This is gonna be this is gonna be very interesting. Let's see if it's doable. We need to high roll, I think, a couple times, or else we might be in trouble. I was gonna say, is mid boss actually gonna kill me? He might. That's a high level chat. Like 181 is no joke. That could one touch us. I could try to decrease the odds of me dying by healing. If it comes down to that. Uh oh. We may be in trouble. Like that 84 health might actually matter, unironically. <laughs> Um, we're not rolling high. That's not great. How many more summons do we have? Four. It's not good enough. Might have to do wind cutter at a distance, maybe. No, that did less damage. All right, new plan. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. This is the problem. I did not think I could get him this high level. I did merge a little bit last time in my defense, but not like this. Okay, 334 might do it, so I have to do it five more times, but I only have three allies. But I also hit really far. So it's possible I could squeeze out one hit before I have to survive one turn versus the boss, which might be a problem. Hmm. So him punching the other character earlier might have actually caused us to lose. I'm not sure yet. But I'm willing to retry this. Ooh, high roll. Okay. So I need four to kill. And then we're going to be running pretty much the entire time after this. How's our SP? It's looking decent. One last target. Well, chat, wish me luck. This is going to get real ugly, I think. He's even in an awkward spot, too. Well, hit and run tactic time. I don't know what range attacks he has. Got six movement. I have six movement. And at least chip him a little bit. So I need to hit him solidly a few times. Let's come all, all the way over here. Please don't hit me. Oh, he didn't hit me. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chad, I'm like, the fear is real right now. You have no idea. Oh, like, please don't game over me. All right, he's one hit from death. We need to go max distance or we die. 
Um, I think I have to go this way. Ooh. Oh, that didn't kill. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? I low world. Run! Right out, run! Oh my gosh, she's coming. The Terminator. Oh, get away from me, mid boss. Holy. All right, chat. Remember, I'm level 43. I'm curious what level I am after this. Okay, fortune. Oh, look at that money. Oh, look at that money. Oh, what's that, that money total? Holy. <laughs> well, chat, I can basically afford every upgrade because that is a lot of cash. Um, I was looking to have around 113,000, by the way. So we might have we might have overshot it a little bit. Just just a teeny tiny bit. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I could go for the Jaya sword. Uh, uh, sudden stomach cramps. Just when I was getting started, I I beg your pardon, but need to use the restroom. <laughs> Consider yourselves lucky you've been spared. Au revoir! He ran away. His excuses are getting more and more pathetic. Huh? So, is that it? That means... I'm the Overlord! 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 The prince is now the overlord. It's so hard to believe. <laughs> now, now, look at him. He is so happy. He pretends to be evil, but he can be cute sometimes. You think? Well, he's just a kid, that's all. Anyway, shouldn't you be worried? Huh? What do you mean? You helped the prince become the overlord. Uh... Master Lamington! Master Lamington! Are you here? You make a ruckus every time you are here to see me, Volcanus. What is it this time? How can I not make a commotion? Laha, the son of King Krachevskoy, has been crowned the new overlord! Hmm... That's not all. That trainee Flan helped him win the throne! Is that so? Oh, this is no longer a case of disobeying orders. This is treason! You are correct. So, what are you planning to do? Hmm. I will need to think about it. Think about it? Think about it, you say? This is a grave matter! We can't just ignore it! I will handle this problem! You have no objections, do you? Oh dear, chat. Oh, what should I do? If the Seraph hears of this, there is no telling what punishment awaits me. I might be dismissed from my angel trainee position. Who cares? Why don't you change jobs now and become a demon? Episode 6, Laharl's Challenge, and I think we could do one more. The evil Empress Edna has sent monsters to take over the world! But when evil creeps up on people, Lon, the messenger of love, comes to the rescue. As long as evil exists, Lon's battle will never end! Run, Lon! Don't lose heart, Lon! Let the people's cheers bring you courage! Transform! Guardian Flan! Next on Guardian Flan, Warrior of Love, Episode 7, Drop Dead Etna. Always keep love in your heart. <laughs> I 
always wanted to try this. Flan, what you doing? Oh, hiya! Sure, we will save. <laughs> Jeez, you just keep laughing and laughing. How can I not? I'm now the Overlord. That means that I'm the most eminent demon in all of the Netherworld. I am aware of that. But ever since you've become the Overlord, you have done nothing but laugh. You don't understand a thing. Laughing is a very important aspect of being the Overlord. Besides, there isn't any urgent matter that's suitable for my first act as King Laharl the Terrible. Oh, Prince! I got a job for ya! Call me Your Highness. I'm the Overlord now. Aw, come on. That's a minor detail. Minor detail? So, what kind of job is it? You want me to make it rain pepper on Earth so they can't stop sneezing? Or do you want me to give human kids an addicted video game that will deprive them of their sleep? Damn. Uh, no. How Come evil. In here, miss. Who's this kid? Don't call me a kid. You're more of a kid yourself. What? Who the hell do you think I am? Now, now. He is just a child. Shut up, Black Chest. What did you say, you? <gasps> I mustn't. In times like this, love is the answer. With love, there is understanding. Hey, does she have a few screws loose or something? Huh, you got some attitude, kid. Just like you, Prince. Yeah, right. So, what's he got to do with the job? Oh, yeah, his pets are missing. Huh? And? And your job's to look for them. Why would I, the Overlord, look for some stupid little brat's pets? Ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! Bring me something more fitting for my first task as Overlord! I refuse. Uh-oh, quadruple hyphen, exclamation mark, question mark. Oh no, double exclamation mark, question mark. It may seem ridiculous to you, but it's important to him. This is a perfect way to begin your rule as Overlord. And if you don't do it, I'm never going to accept you as the Overlord. What, what are you getting so mad for? It's not like you. Answer me. Will you do it or not? Ugh. Fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. Good, and you better not slack off. Ugh. Why am I, the Overlord of the Netherworld, taking orders from this annoying brat? Episode 7 of Being an Overlord. Okay, chat. So I'm going to take a small break here. When I come back, we're going to uh, continue with the episode. I think we could clear this episode. And I think I might make a couple more red mages. So, Chris, if you want to be named after one of them, by all means. But be right back. I got to refill my drink and a couple other things. Sorry about that, chat. I'm now back. There we go. Let's talk to these people. Your true value is Overlord. Will be decided by your future, not your past. Please lift, please lift up to your name, my Overlord. What are you all serious for? Oh, don't worry, Prince. It was just a joke. I don't get demon jokes. Prince, your Highness, King Laharl. There's no ring to that. I think I'll just stick with Prince. Dot dot dot. I'm using the mouse to hyperspeed. Prince is now king. You don't seem too happy. I'm not unhappy. It's just that I've always thought of King Krichevskoy as the one and only king. Yeah, I can understand that. Right, chat? Nyeerum. Only yesterday, we were wearing diapers, and now you're the overlord. What is the world coming to? What are you getting at? About that overlord from the alternate dimension. 
Maybe be an overlord, but I heard the demons of that level are everywhere in the other dimension. The king told me once the true ruler is known as the... the terrifying demon known as the Lord of Terror. The king was wary of him, so I can't Im imagine how strong he is. Hmm, that's just a legend. If such a fool does exist, I, Laharl, shall pummel him to the ground. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Eternal loyalty. Even though there are still gaps, my memories are slowly coming back. One thing I remember, I first started as a servant in the castle. Every day was hard. I lost heart and my will to live was fading. At times, I even welcomed death. That was when the king reached out his hand to me. I wanted to help him. I wanted to be praised by him. I wanted to be accepted by him. I never felt like that before. And so I pledged my loyalty to him. Even when I lost my memories, that loyalty remained. Even now, and forever, my feelings will never change. Also, I want to make sure I didn't do something silly earlier. Let me check something. Okay, good. I still have one save file there. Uh... Wow, we went from 43 to 55? Uh, I just want to make sure I don't overwrite that other save. That is quite a jump, chat. <laughs> Remember when we were at like 400 attack at the beginning of this, of this session? Yeah, that seems fair. So I guess we'll go make Chris first. I'd also just go for a promotion exam. Hmm. The first thing I should definitely do is more expensive stuff. There's like a couple things I want to do. Okay, we're going to save. So there's a very high chance I'm going to lose these, but I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to go with the more ex expensive stuff first. Oof. Um... Yeah, we're just going to reset real quick. I could technically merge them together like we were doing earlier, and I can make all the enemies join into like one super ally, but I'd just rather not do that. It's faster to do this as long as I get it within like two tries. Before that happens. <laughs> we're getting trolled. I'm sure speedrunners have to deal with this nonsense. I can empathize with them doing this over and over. Damn, that started so well, and then we just got hard baited at the end. That was actually brutal. <laughs> we were up like 200 votes, and it was like, nah. Get, get dunked on. Try again. There we go. We're definitely saving. So, out of curiosity, how much does this jump up our weapons? So we can see our first 100k weapon, but we we could do better than that, chat, right? Like only 90,000. Do you see our attack power? Do you see our money and attack power? Keep in mind, we're also using a sword with 194 due to getting double gladiator. So we're we're using a weapon that's worth like 60,000 more health just because I got double gladiator. And it was useful, because that let us actually kill the other guy. I think without it, I'm not sure if we would have been able to kill mid-boss. It would have been a lot of ret retreating. I don't know if it would have been possible. Just think about it, Chad. I would have been down like 50 attack, and we were barely doing 200-something. We'll pass it again. Okay, that one was better. So remember, our customer rank is 6 because I bought the Psychic Sword earlier, so I can't make it higher than this is currently. But now we should be able to see some super BS equipment in here. No, not quite yet. It's already a 200 attack base. Keep in mind, we've been leveling our proficiency so much. If this fist was a sword, I would have been losing my mind chat. 56 Gladiator? Could you imagine? Why are we getting teased? That is so expensive, and it's so not worth it. Can we really- can we please do a little better? A little better, right, Chad? Just a teeny bit. 
That's the sword I want, but unfortunately, with how this is rolling, we're gonna go for the, the Jaya, since we have enough money. If we could get it to appear. This is brutal. Yeah, one thing I don't like about this Gaia 1, you can see it's like a total pain, like, I should have, like, the same thing Metal Fist does. And Metal Fist got double Gladiator again, come on. We should be getting that sword every time, but it's just randomly not there, which really sucks. So we could lose a lot of time here. So welcome to, like, the next 15 minutes as I try to find it. Hypnotis Master is just not good enough. Hey, Chad, I'm sorry. Like, none of that is at all interesting on our character. At least I could kind of see if we have it or not. Yeah. Like, even Lightsaber with Gladiator would be better than what that was. That's why I'm not impressed. Brutal. Come on. So sad, Chad. That is really tempting to purchase. That is so much attack power. Oh, but that might mess up my shop totals. Oh. But it's so strong. Hmm. I think I gotta wait. It's good. It's stronger than my other thing would have been. I more care about the customer rank. I don't really want to buy, like, a million food items if I can avoid it. I'd rather the, at least one gladiator be on the other sword. Also, this is actually ridiculous. What does it appear, like, one in every seven times? What is this? Where's our 150,000 sword? We saw it before. Come on, game. This guy one, please. We really need the ability to just shuffle the shop repeatedly. Right, chat? Instead of doing this. PC for it. Please fix this. I know. We're, we're, now, we're now at the mercy of the RNG. It is not being kind to us. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh... That'll do. So it has the same attack as the other one, but more importantly, it costs more. And it also gives defense. It's not the worst thing ever. I guess I'll take this. Instant customer rank up. Yeah, let's see the difference, by the way. Oh, chat. Oh. <laughs> Do you see that stat difference? Holy. Yeah, that was worth it. Getting rid of our other swords, because we just don't need them. Cross trainers, ironically, I probably could take use of those in a moment. I have enough to get two belts, I think. So why don't we just go... No, oh, hold on. We should save, because the game is going to be mean. Once we're done with all of our equipment, we're going to make some characters. Let's do belt. Or, I mean, the inventory unlocking. Let's see what happens. Big oof. Hey <laughs> chat, that was that was big oof. <laughs> wow, that's that wasn't even that wasn't even salvageable even if I wanted to salvage it. That was terrible. Alright, out of curiosity. <laughs> Just real quick chat, what level are they? <laughs> like hold on. Just gotta check real quick. I think we're about to see a genocide. Yeah, we're we're about to witness a genocide chat. Listen, they are not denying me this item. Listen. I'm sorry, we're getting the belts. No mercy. Oh, we got the meteor impact. Chat, look how much SP that is! It's so much SP! <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're now at our full form. Like, what could they possibly do? No mercy! Oh, they poisoned us. Oh no, they didn't. Or maybe they did. I can't see it. No, they didn't. 
Ooh, that guy's kind of tough. Oh, no bonus for completing this stage. Well, we're getting extra money later. You know what, chat? This is for you. I'm turning on the animations again. Watch this BS. This is for you. Here I come. He actually survived that? Wow. I am really surprised anything survived that. That was a lot of damage. They moved themselves out of each other's ways. Had to be hands on with the public, exactly. Um. Just blazing knuckle them, right? That was some big damage. Nice, and we leveled up in his face. That's how you assert dominance. Oh, you want to start this war with me? <laughs> Let's be honest, is it only being a 2x2 two two at a cross? Yeah, that makes no sense. I agree. I could technically feed this kill to another character. Hmm. Is it possible for Impair Meter to even get the kill? I don't think it is. But do I want to still try anyway is the question. <laughs> Getting him to level 12 would be very funny. Fireball! I could split the XP. Because I don't need the XP at this point. This this is what we consider a bonus fight. As long as I don't have to force any more bills in, I'm technically not repeating anything, so I'm not going to fail the challenge. Because this is the first time we forced the bill, technically. Yeah, let's let's try. Let's see if we can get a chat. And we'll get uh probably red mage in. Maybe this will help. We get one more level up. We get rogue nine with some experience. All right, chat, let's believe. I could do a normal fire attack, which probably won't do damage, into a very high chance of this comboing and killing. Let's see if we can give some XP to characters. Here we go. Belt inventory is unapproved. What level are they now? Oh, so close. No, I think you're two levels away. That was kind of worth it, though. So it looks like I can maybe steal some experience that way. So, that's, so that was only level 40. So I could do that in the future. We'll make note of that. So close to getting low levels. Rogue 9 now giving 6 attack power to Laharl. <laughs> like, stats are so stupid, I swear, chat. We're, the game is over. Oh, I wasn't expecting these for quite some time. Um, a broker and a statistician. Yeah, I guess if I need money later, I might as well take this one. Statistician is whatever, I don't care. I could technically put it on uh, <laughs> in parameter or something funny. There we go, muscle ace in parameter. Star Wars does give intelligence. There's there's a non-zero chance a parameter can actually kill something now. <laughs> we got there, chat. We didn't try very hard, but we got rewarded. Uh, let's have Gonna Bite It have boots in another movement in. Yeah, I think everything else is fine. Alright, let's make Chris's character. 
I did one getting there. Yeah, I think I think if I had put that Star Orb on, you could have actually done like nine or ten damage, and you actually would have been able to kill in two spells. So the more we use your spells, the more damage you do. I love your the stat difference with that. That's quite hilarious. All right, let's make a uh, Chris's character. I don't know if my mana matters at all at this point. Yeah, so for Chris, I'll make the Chris average. There we go. I could do Antares Convoy. I guess whatever you prefer, Chris. Do something like this. There we go. Hmm. Probably used one more mage. I am kind of sad that these characters are in the way. I wish I could move him around the order list. The Darius being in the middle is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Right, I can make one more character. I don't think I'm gonna really care about them that much. Uh, it's like a backup of a backup. What if I hit done? Ganzel. There you go. That's a name. Now I have four mages that will eventually be able to pass Braveheart. Which, keep in mind, is going to multiply our attack power. Oh, I can. Oh, I can rearrange. Oh, thank you. That was gonna. That was gonna bother me to no end, chat. Okay, there we go. Actually, I would do something like this. That should be fun. I want the characters that can't throw to be kind of in the middle. All right. So keep in mind, Chad. We're not at the peak of our power yet. And because we did all those enemy combines, we are now super strong. Yeah, like, see this chat? The aura belt. The aura belt by itself is 167 attack. Sure, we lose defense, but does it matter when we one shot everything? I don't think so. Come on, we should be able to get one more, right? Monster Bell. That's not what I'm looking for. I mean, I could get another expensive item up. I might have to. If I don't see it soon, I'm gonna just go take it, just because. See, the armor is the right cash total. Maybe we need one more expensive build-up. The other downside is I don't fully get where the rank division is, having not played it in a while. But I guess I could just do more expensive stuff again. I mean, I need to do this anyway at some point. Oh, that was easy. As long as I don't go too far ahead, we should be fine. Hero cape, not what I'm looking for. Come on, there, it's like love belt or something. There's like 110,000 belt, that's all we need. There it is, but it rolled terribly. Oh, it gives weapon proficiency up. Maybe that's good enough? I, I need to buy three, so I could get one more. Like it, so I have an arm master now. My game. Be kinder. You could do better. Right, chat? You could do better. Come on. If we get, like, Gladiator 40 or something on it between multiple Gladiators, I'd be very happy. That's really close. That might be good enough, honestly.
So I can now get rid of the Imperial Seal for a ridiculous attack increase. I can get rid of the Rosary, which will get rid of the Money Maker, but that might not matter anymore. Wow, that that attack power increase though, chat. Jeez. Yeah, the Devil Ring rolled kind of disappointing, to be honest. But we'll replace this eventually. I like putting the belts together. So we're now at 1300 attack. Chat, remember when we were at like 400 attack earlier, by the way? Also, we are losing a lot of defense thanks to love belts, but at least we have sentry to sort of offset it in case we do need to tank a hit. But yeah, we're going to be doing some very disgusting damage. Our master means our proficiency goes up, which kind of matters. I mean, like, the faster we could get to rank 10, we might end up getting, like, literally 20 to 40 attack just from that going up once. So, yeah, we are now really, really, really well off. Let's equip Chris with something in case we need him to do some damage. Well, I could give the, uh... Give the Dark Rosary to Chris. There we go. So if I need to cheese out something, maybe this will matter. Yeah, sadly the Blood Orb has no ints up. So, I think for now we're good. I don't need to make any other purchases. But 67 deaths, which I think I could do a little better. I think we could bump that number up a little more. Have you heard what's been happening at Salamander's Breath? Supposedly, there's been a flood of zombies recently. Zombies, huh? Could it be that Aramis's pet has been eaten by zombies? Right, so let's go to Scorching Wind. Ah, Miss Etna. That's one of my pets over there. Why is he only polite to you? It's all about the special training I gave him. Oh, I get it. It's the power of love. Sure, whatever you say. Oh, oh, oh. oh, looks like he's he's getting ready for a sea mother story. A zombie. A zombie it is. Hey, Brad, don't tell me this is one of your pets. Yeah, you got a problem with that. No, actually, I like it. You got good taste, kid. Uh oh, I think I saw a bot briefly. A zombie for a pet, huh? So how do we catch it? Why not do the same thing we always do? Yes, that would work. I mean, zombies are already dead anyway. Then let the massacre begin. Agreed. Offensive house bot. Something like that. Um, are you sure that's okay? Oh boy, chat. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Ooh, experience up? Ooh. Well, I could see how people casually leveled here. How does this... How did we get the XP up stage and not a single early bonus is XP? Seriously? Man. Whatever, chat. Whatever. <laughs> well, gonna bite it's gonna protect us briefly. I'm gonna try to limit my casualties. So I gotta be careful how much I'm throwing here. Do something like put myself here. Move here. Have red shirt pick me up if needed. Uh, let me think about this. Do movement. So if I lift you up here, 
Uh, that's not gonna work. So you need to be thrown in a way that I can grab you easily. So I could throw him here. Maybe that'll work. And he could throw, and I throw them combined. Yeah, that should work, I think. Then I could do this to reset myself. I'm curious how much damage I do. Almost enough to one shot. Wow. Okay. Have eviscerated hold. Not what I wanted to do. Good thing I didn't hit end turn. That would have been bad. Let's get some bonus money here. And we could get our character deaths up. Right, chat? I should notice a decent amount of cash back. I like that they're resistant to fire and that still did like insane amounts of damage to them. Oh, that reminds me. I should be able to use Imperimeter here. By just casting things like Magic Boost on people. Because that should... Oh, it doesn't give staff mastery in this one. Really? Why? That's weird. Huh. That kind of sucks. So, oh well, maybe it's a future system change. I thought support spells leveled it, but apparently not. Well, I guess we can have Etna protect in Parameter, the important character. Goodbye. Hmm. Most of the enemies don't seem to be moving. What I'm gonna do is do a nice little slash. Get a little bonus money combining these characters together. Oh, or I kill them. I don't need a ton of money from this. Yeah, this looks like kind of like the go-to stage or easy stat-ups. We might as well just improve their levels a little bit. Hmm. That damage is silly. Okay, we have more than enough to revive people if we need to. And we got our total number of deaths up, which is great. Feather token. Uh, that might actually be relevant. It's better than what we're using currently. But we just have Gladiator on us, so it just needs to be 58 attack. I think we could do it. Defense up, speed up, resistance up. Tempting. More money, defense up, maybe? I wouldn't mind a broker. Broker plus, like, gladiator, I'll take. But I'm not gonna worry too much about it. No, I don't want it to go to accuracy. I don't care about that stat. Can't go to coach. Come on, something better. Double physician? Oh, if that was double gladiator, that would have been, like, a snap key. Right, chat? We got cheated there. <laughs> that would have been it. If I picked that up, it would have been like, GG. 110 on this item? I don't even need another belt at that point. Manager for mana and gladiator. I don't think that's good enough. Come on, you could do better, game. We saw how ridiculous it could be. You could do better. Statistician arm master. Maybe? Maybe. If that comes up again, I'll take it. I was kind of hoping for two level 30s of interest, but we're kind of getting bad stats. In theory, we could get a rare item here, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Master, Teacher, Gladiator. 
Yo. Double gladiator or manager, I'll take. Come on, you can do better. Right, chat? You can do better. Come on. Uh, manager gladiator. Sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I want bro. I'm sorry. I don't need manager. I'm good with mana. I need broker. I'll take broker gladiator or double gladiator and we'll move on. Come on, game. Rolling the dice. Broker gladiators, I guess okay. I'd prefer double gladiator, so I don't need 100,000. The reason I'm re-rolling this is if this rolls with like double attack, I'm not going to bother getting another belt. I'm just gonna wear this. We are getting hilariously terrible rolls. Come on, game. Brutal. Right, just brutal. Come on. At least roll attack on one of these. No. Come on, game. Gladiator Master, it's not good enough. No. Because right now it's like barely competing with the other thing I picked up. Damn, if all three of those were what I wanted. Get over. But alas. Come on. I want to know the percent odds of getting Gladiator. This is just getting silly now. I'm tempted to just take anything at this moment. Game, please. <laughs> where's, the, where's the attack up now? No, I don't want Dietitian. Health doesn't help me. You know what? I'll even take an ar another Arms Master if I really have to. I'll take... Sentry, Gladiator even? Just something Gladiator. That's all I care about at this point. It can't be level 13 Gladiator, because we could do better. Interesting. But no, I'm gonna say no. If that was on a mage character, I would have taken that. Unreal chat, we're not getting Gladiator anymore. Where's Gladiator? Donde esta Gladiator? What is it, like 1 in 20 that it appears? What's happening? Hello? Where is it? Are you kidding me right now? We got like two 13 gladiators earlier, which was not great. And now we're just not getting anything. This is terrible. Man, oh man, do I wish I not have to do this in order to reroll. I'm really temp tempted to take it. I'm gonna try one more time. No, that wasn't worth it. That one was like almost keepable. I was like, ah, uh, SP is good. But it's not what I'm looking for. If this had been double gladiator, I would have taken that. If that had been gladiator, we would have been done. Man, we're just missing it by, like, one every time, chat. That would have been, like, the perfect item. So sad. All right, I'm taking the next one that's okay, just so we move on. It needs to be Gladiator, though. Unreal. Unreal. Come on, where's the Gladiators? Only a 12. Oh, come on. I can't accept a 12. That's like the that's the lowest roll I have ever seen. Okay, this is at least a 16. You know what? I'll take it for now. Whatever. Not my favorite, but we'll put it on. There we go. Just overall slightly better stats. Now... Given Parameter... We already have manager and everything else. Maybe I'll give it to Chris. Gansel technically is nothing. You know what? I'll give it to Imperameter. We'll give Gansel some stuff in case we need him to have SP. Because at some point he needs, he needs SP to cast his abilities. It's not the worst thing ever to give him extras. Alright, so we're at 73 deaths. Not bad. Normally that would be like, oh my gosh, you're letting all your characters die. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. They need to die. Let's go to Column of Fire, I guess.
boring. Quit complaining. You want to be a great overlord or not? You sure are serious today, Etna. I'm always serious. Besides, the prince needs to start acting more like his father. You mean King Krichevskoy? Uh-huh. Back when I started working in the castle, I was teased and picked on every day for being a commoner. You were? That's hard to believe. At that time, I was still very naive. I was a scared little girl. The only thing that helped me get through those days was my faithful pet. But one day, I found him dead. Those damn demons killed him. How cruel. With no way to get back at them, I just cried. That was when the king reached out his hand to me. But I told him what happened. Help me bury my pet. He must have been a kind man. Kind? I don't know what kindness feels like, but he was a great man and one that I respected. That's why I pledged to him my deepest loyalty. But the prince, he's still not fit to succeed King Krachevskoy as the overlord. So that's why you want Laharl to become just like his father. Uh, I see. You worry about Laharl after all. That's love. I doubt it. If he fails, I'll just kill him. What? <laughs> just kidding. Etna, you're starting to scare me. Ooh. Enemy boost times three, huh? Seems like we got a throwing puzzle on our hands. Okay, gonna die. You got one job. I think this should work. No XP. Oh, come on. <laughs> we just need one of those to be an XP up, and we're pretty sure Imperameter would be level 12 when we can start Bravehearting. A little earlier than expected. Instead, we get a crappy bow. Whatever. Um, Chat, give a warrior salute to them, because we're going to do something I haven't done before in the playthrough. I'm pretty sure throwing this at the enemy detonates it. Last time, I just had Lahoral attack it, but then I thought, I don't have to do that. I'm pretty sure this will work. But goodbye, everybody near me. Although on the plus side, I might actually get to bonus level one, and that might matter. Nice. Goodbye, our allies. The Great Purge is here, chat. So I think 100 hits in the chain is literally 100 bonus meter. So I think this guarantees the XP now. And we cleared it, which might also give bonus. Yeah, they gave bonus. Okay. Um. Let's see. Basically, just need these characters to survive. Need Chris to do something at some point. I can have Laharl actually protect our party, sort of. Let's start throwing in Parameter first. Okay, and Parameter safe. <laughs> then we can have decoys. Hello, name character I don't care about. Not who I wanted to lift up, that sucked. Make sure Chris levels. Uh, Parameter is as safe as possible. Chris is safe. Now we just need to get our other characters here, and I think we're good. I'm gonna dispatch them, I think, at the end. End our turn here. I might be able to merge a couple of them with the remaining characters. Okay. 
That is a lot of threats coming towards the party. Run, Chris, run! Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to lure them with a with a juicy target. We're gonna Perfect use the mayhem. Oh, welcome, Chris Graham. We're, we're gonna lure them with the printy. Hmm. Perfect mayhem. Oh, thank you, Cactus, also for the raid. Hope you're both doing well. Just thinking about how I want to do this. I could just block up the path. We're in a good position. But he should be good here. I think I could do something like this. Yeah, that should work. I won't be able to get a lot of bonus XP with how this was set up, but that's fine. Two of my mages getting Braveheart would be huge. Now it's just Operation Protect the Mages. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting run. See, this is actually challenging when you're trying not to kill them. Like, oh boy. Um, I guess I could kind of stay in the middle, maybe, and do this. That way, our two mage buddies can try to run and get that XP. <laughs> right, Chad? There we go. Let's lure them this way. There we go. The only survivors of the Great Massacre. Okay, and as long as we move a little bit, should be good. There we go. We didn't give bonus XP to many characters, but that's fun. I wasn't expecting them to have, like, a long ricochet attack either, to be fair. But whatever. Oh, we got Winged Slayer, finally. Which is a pretty big AoE, as you can see. But, uh, we don't have to worry about that right now. Hmm. Hopefully this does not reach you. Okay, it did not. Goodbye. Okay, let's see where people are XP-wise now. Imperimeter one level shy of getting it. You need 800 more to level. Chris now level 6 though. So both of these characters might be able to steal a kill. We have a very healthy amount of health still left over. So I'm going to have to do some research after this by just playing the game off stream to figure out uh, what else drops. I just remember getting up to the belts. The belts are very good. I technically could get another belt if I really need more attack, but for now this is probably fun. Hopefully everybody's doing well as we murder our way through Disgaea. Go to... I marked it as 8-3. Ooh, bonus XP. 20% damage silence. No entry. No lifting. Alright, so I gotta go to the far left. Let's have a nice old group of people. So we're gonna let these characters go back to the base once we're done with them. I actually don't want any more deaths. So I actually want to benefit from the XP up. We can actually get people pretty close. So Parameter will be one XP up away from being able to basically power through. It should be more than enough to reach. Yeah, that was like one more than needed. Oh, we have silence on. I was wondering what was happening there. 
There we go. Gonna bite it leveled quite a bit. Too bad, gonna bite it, gonna bite it, Chad. Alright, so all I need to do is go back to the base. And anybody that lives will be able to get some free XP. Unfortunately, they're all going to the wrong target, which is kind of annoying. They really heat seek on the weak party members, right, chat? You can tell who they think is weak or strong. Unambiguously. Let's force them to come to me. I got a guaranteed kill here if I want it. Let's go ahead and summon some people out for XP. Let's have Rogue 9 get XP. Chris get XP. Ansel will get XP. Heart will get XP. Parameter will get XP. Uh, level Planeer because it's funny. I don't think I need to care about anything else. I could technically level Flan, I guess. Not that she's useful anymore, sadly. Throw them, just get more money. Still take a little bit of damage, but that's fun. Let's turn on animation so check and see the new attack. The gained Winged Slayer. Finally free from wall work week. Nice, Murphy. Sadly, did not get enough for a double XP up, but should put most of our people almost at level 12. The Parameter just needs one more XP up, and he can start using Braveheart. And yeah, we managed to get Rogue 9 to give us six extra attack. Ooh. <laughs> That's soup. Uh, we could do better. <laughs> that was that was technically better, but please come on, a little better. Thank you. I want a resonant that's worth something. Okay, so let's go to we'll call it eight four tentatively. Salamander's breath. Oh, jeez. These zombies aren't challenging at all. They're just plain bothersome. Well, they do come back to life after you kill them. Hey, brat. Is it okay if we tear your pets to shreds so they won't bother us for a while? Go ahead. I take them apart and put them back together again all the time. I used to do that too when I was a kid. Ah, uh, those were the days. Stop reminiscing about your childhood. Do all demon children play that way? Don't worry, just those two. So around us, chat, is attack up, attack minus. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, another bonus XP. Hey! Guess who's gonna get upgraded, chat? I can start throwing them together, honestly, at this point. I don't even care if I'm in the Geo panel or not, it does not matter at all. Alright, we need to kill a couple of these. Oh, I forgot to turn off animations. Whoops. Oh well. That'll speed it up significantly. I was gonna say, needless to say, chat, they are not gonna be able to do much of anything to us. So I can combine them all now that there is a reasonable amount.
I guess we'll go ahead and do that. I don't really know if it matters which one gets the levels, but I'm going to combine them all anyway. Actually, I kind of want Rogue 9 to get experience. Let's make sure we can level our main people here. Actually, it doesn't matter, because I can put them away next turn. It'd be better just to merge them all rather than try to tank this. Okay, Rogue 9... This'll work. I think this one is technically the strongest zombie. I never wanted more XP he could get it, but whatever. Ooh, there we go, the diagonal throw. for another diagonal throw and then waste a turn, technically. I think that's actually the play. Or I could just do this. Should be able to reach it with hit me. Yeah, I should. Okay. Now we're gonna form a super zombie, because I can. <laughs> Not that I need to. Then we'll have you lift up. And then all we need to do is just make sure all of our mages are going to level from this. We should definitely be able to do. And I can even keep Rogue 9 around and get some levels there. Not that I need it. But we'll do it just for chant. We'll summon Rogue 9. I have three other characters that could get levels. Whatever. I don't think this will kill, but I have three enemies to do it with. I could actually just throw them on the thing that weakens them. I guess that wouldn't be the worst idea ever. Our other characters out of the way. Run in Parameter, run. We'll throw you here. And attack from here for maximum damage. This still didn't quite kill. Just fine. We had a feeling that would happen. Goodbye, our party members. Nice, we leveled up. Got a little extra hell out of that, too. The parameter should now have Braveheart. Yeah, there we go. Now, now we can, now we can really break the game. All right, just making sure. I didn't accidentally ally kill, right, at any point. Okay, just making sure. I don't really want to restart, but we can double check. So now, now we can boost our attack power by 20%. So for every character that learns it, it stacks up to five times, so I can have literally double attack power. So just think of it, chat. If I'm at 1354 now, I could be at 2700 if I have every single character learn Braveheart. Which is kind of gross, and it's going to lead to a lot of one-sided curve stomps, which is what we need. Um, we could buy some emergency healing. I'm pretty close to ranking up, so I could just buy stuff just to buy stuff if I wanted to. Like, if any of these actually gave, like, really high in, in theory, just buy them over healing items. Although I don't have a lot of money at the moment. As I said before, I'm not sure what my next money total to save up to is. Like, I might need 200,000. But I think otherwise, we have a ton of deaths, which is great. We're just kind of getting into the home stretch now. Hello, zombie. Kill one and another appears. Zombies, zombies, zombies. I'm getting sick and tired of this. You better stay alert or else you'll be sorry. Check out that zombie. What about it? <sighs> Damn it. 
nature. That is my masterpiece. The fists of a dark karate master. The legs of the fastest demon in the netherworld. <laughs> and we're gonna basically one-shot it. <laughs> right, chat? You know it's true. Poor thing. It's just gonna get absolutely obliterated. The brain of mahogany. A famous sorcerer. The iron body of Hercules. And a horse wiener. All combined into one. The netherworld's ultimate zombie. Thank you, Aramis. What did you say? A horse wiener? Now, that's dangerous. Guys, don't let your guard down. There you go, chat, of course. 10 out of 10 for maturity. Dot, dot, dot. Nice. We have defense plus 100%. Honestly, I'm not really sure what they could do to us. I guess I can do... Overlord Wrath, just to kill them. At this point, I don't need them for anything. I guess I'll just kill them as I see them. I could do another Overlord Wrath here, because we are just so overwhelmingly overpowered right now. Also, we're at level 58. Oh, oops. That other one was further away than I thought. I played myself on that one. They're getting split up a little. Hmm. How does that not in range? Ooh, that looks like a fun line. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. Hey, that one actually survived. That must be the boss. Right, chat? Wow. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hercules body, mahogany's brain, horse wiener. Thank you, game. Very classy. I could, in theory, steal that item from him if I want to. Not that I want to. merge them together real quick. It's gonna die here. Actually. I seriously not hit from here? That's crazy. So close to killing. Uh, six feet under. You have one job. Protect the protagonist. Mission accomplished. Sadly, though, no other bonuses. Ooh, look how much... SP we used. Nice. Another level up. That's still a lot of hell. Here, I caught them all. So quit your complaining. Dot, 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 dot. What? What's the problem now? Thank you, Your Highness. Huh. Well, it is part of my job as the Overlord. And don't bother to thank me. If you want to show your gratitude, you can repay me with your body. Phrasing? Hmm. I never knew you were like that. <laughs> <laughs> Even Edna said it. Idiot. I meant become my vassal and serve me when you're old enough. Yes, your highness. Speak to me with respect from now on. Got it? Yes, your highness. <laughs> what indeed? That, that kid called me your highness. So, 
Do you accept me as overlord now? Well, you passed for the time being, but be careful not to flunk out. Ugh, why you? <laughs> Talk about strict. Still, Maharo has changed quite a bit since the first time I met him. He is maturing little by little as he meets new people. And it feels like I have changed too, since meeting him and his companions. If you open your heart, you will surely grow and learn many new things, whether you're an angel or a demon. If I can explain this to other angels, maybe they'll see that not all demons are evil. And someday... Episode 7 of Being an Overlord and... Those seemingly innocent prinnies. It turns out they were hiding a big secret. It wouldn't be a secret if it wasn't hidden, dude. When the Prinny's evil spirits join as one, they form Pringer X, the mighty super robot. Dude, we can't do that. Here goes. Pringer Spiral Plasma Chop. Gotcha. Pringer Aurora Triangle Kick. This is it. Pringer Spinning Drill Attack. Uh, dude, hello? Next, on Lovely Mad Scientist Edna, Episode 8. Farewell, Pringer X. Dude! You're killing us, huh? No worries. Pringer X will be reborn as the more powerful Pringer Z. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen, dude. We'll save the game. We'll go a little further, but I'm not gonna do another stage. Oh no, chat. The red moon is here. Red moon, red moon, cleanses the sinful and makes them anew. Shining brightly in the night sky, waiting for the souls. Who will be born again tonight? Same question. Who will be born again tonight? Believe it or not, Chad, I think we're about halfway through the game right now. Hmm. We made some significant progress. Who would be singing at this hour? Yeah, like maybe like 45%, but we're we're pretty close. We made a lot of progress in two sessions. Prinnies? Um, where are you going? Don't try to stop them. Big sis Prinny chat. Huh? Just let them be. They were finally able to atone for their sins. The only thing we can do now is pray for their happiness in their next lives. Dot 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 question mark. Is this what they mean when they say fly by night? Um Yes. You seem different from other Prinnies. Were you the one who gave me medicine when I lost my pendant? W what are you talking about? You even speak differently than the rest of them. Well, what, what do you mean? Dude, I'm the same as the others. Dude. I understand. You have your reasons, right? Okay, then. I'll just direct this to whoever might be listening. Thank you for your help. Flan? Since you came, the prince has changed. Dude. Dude. Huh? You really think so? Sure, dude. Thank goodness! They say that I see things the way I want them to be, so I wasn't sure if Laharl has actually changed or not. But it can't be just my imagination if you noticed a difference, too. All right! That means Laharl is definitely awakening to the idea of love! Love is magnificent! <laughs> it surely is! Mm-hmm. Episode 8, Reincarnation. What? 
Like I said, several prinnies are missing. Why? How should I know? Maybe they ran away because you treated them so badly. Hmm. Come to think of it, 20 hour workdays with no days off was a bit harsh. In conditions like that, it's no wonder that they chose to fly by night. Fly by night? Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, no. Nothing at all. Prince. Hmm? What? Don't worry. They'll be all right. Dude. I'm not worried about them. If people hear that I let my vessels escape, I'll lose all respect. That's why we're gonna find them, even if it is a big waste of time. That's so mean! You don't have to say it like that! Take it easy, Flan. He's just too embarrassed to admit the truth. Really? Yeah. I think. There we go, chat. So we are... Whew, level 59. We're looking pretty good. I mean, if we were using a bow, we would have been happy to have an attack upgrade. Quote-unquote. Too bad we've been uh, using expensive item up this entire time. We don't care about any drops from the game at this point other than XP. So... I didn't really have to use any SP ups here. I might leave them for now. Like, Bat Soup, I think, is going to be extremely useful for us in later fights. We have one Fairy Dust in case I get uh, hit again by Poison or something annoying. But otherwise, we just have these kind of low-end SP ups. I might get rid of the unopened drinks. Because at this point, I just want to make sure I could spam my, like, 150 and my, like, 80 plus SP moves. So we'll talk to each of these people and then we'll take a break for the night. I think we made some good progress. There are, if I recall correctly, 14 chapters in the game. So we just entered chapter 8. So we're we are on that threshold, as it were. I think we're doing fine so far. Well, Prinnies are humans after all. I guess life in the netherworld is something they'll never get used to. I think they're that delicate. Welcome to the Overlord's Castle. Sometimes grand introductions like that are good, aren't they? You're asking me? Um, really don't know what to say. Look at that chat. We're, we're getting close. <laughs> and I have to say, like, 144 int is n actually not bad. Like, if you see this chat, like, the 144 int is better than Moderus, who also has items that buff his stats. Just to give you an idea of where you are. Plus, technically, if I really want to, Everybody could just stand around magic buffing themselves, so that way they could deliver a super fireball or something. Be keeping this a secret. I'm actually a female. Now I know. Have you got a use for this? Receive the staff of sorcery. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> um. I I guess I'll give it to Chris. Well, I guess if I was using Flan or something, that would have been, like, a huge upgrade normally. Eh, I'll just give it to Chris. Heard the Prinnies ran away. No surprise, though, since they're working under you, Prince. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, come on now. You know what I mean. Oh, maybe that's why the status didn't go up before, because Imperimeter didn't have a weapon. Oh, wait, never mind. That might that might be why that happened. We'll get Imperimeter a basic weapon. I might as well as level up staff proficiency at some point. Hatred. More and more is coming back to me with each passing day. Remember the time... The time the king and queen first met. The demon falling in love with the human. I felt like the king was going somewhere out of my reach. His happy face... The first time I saw a smile, my heart ached. As I watched the king smiling, I felt my hatred for the queen grow. 
My loyalty to the king. It felt like all the feelings were being ignored because of that woman. And then the prince was born. The son of the king. The son of that woman. I was torn by opposing feelings back then. Things have started to change recently. But my feelings towards the queen ended before I could deal with them. Alright, let's go get some junk equipment, I guess. I didn't get many staff so far in the playthrough. But I might as well just get some cheap ones. If they even get sold anymore for cheap. Ninety-three thousand is too expensive. I'll take this one though. And if this happens to rank up us, that's good. How did that not rank us up? Alright, let's sell our low-end items because I don't need these. Don't need the warrior's bow at all. Uh, take another fairy dust. And a couple egg yolks. Maybe one safety heal? Sure. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, sure. If I really need a full heal, I have one full heal. So at least I could say... I could put myself back at full if I really need to. The egg yolks giving 263 is huge. I might even just get rid of garlic water too. I didn't end up using it in the run. I don't need these at all. Yeah, we have one more status cure. I could technically put the, uh... Gensi sex that's over here. I think that would make more sense. There we go. At least I could say I have some items. Parameter a weapon. We'll give them the better of the two. Hmm. I'm gonna quit flans for now. So everybody that now potentially can use Braveheart can use this. So that's good. Flans equipment doesn't matter anymore. You can technically get rid of this SP booster too. I guess I'll give it to Art, I guess. Better than nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out some things, figure out if I even want to do another expensive bill. I probably don't, not right this minute. We can also get another promotion exam, but honestly, I don't know if there's anything else I want from the promotion exam, unless I just want free experience. Quote unquote, like an ability to level it more. Yeah. One thing that's a little disappointing about Disgaea 1 is that uh, the later Disgaeas allow you to kind of rank up the aptitude of the face characters. So, like, for example, Planeer having 150 speed, but eventually become, like, 160, 170, 180. So it is kind of unfortunate that a major mechanic of switching a character over isn't really a thing in Disgaea 1. Let's see, did we unlock the ability to do anything new here? Taking a look. No, not yet. We've killed enough ghosts that we can see the base stats are improved. <laughs> yeah, we killed quite a lot of zombies there. I'm not surprised to see that. Yeah, like here's... Oh. We're not seeing an aptitude change, but we could see, for example, along the top of the screen. Let me just move this out of the way so I can see it a little better. Then in the upper right, you could see, like, the proficiencies gradually improve. Things like aptitude will go up in the later games a lot more, so ranking up the classes matters. For this game, it doesn't really matter. The classes are more to teach us unique abilities, but they don't have, like, any great passives like they do in the other games. Where they just become ridiculously broken. So anyway, we're not really going to touch most of the character systems. For those that are wondering, you have to get a character up to a certain level, and then that un un unlocks another character level for the humans. For the monsters, you have to kill a certain number, from what I recall, in order to see more of them. Which can be annoying, as you can imagine, since getting another monster rank means you need to actually be far enough in the game to see the other monsters. So... I find them kind of a hassle to level, unless you just cheat them to level 9999, so I don't usually bother. 
Yeah, like, te technically Manticore stats are pretty crazy. I think this game also has the issue where if you make them a monster, they lose all of their weapon proficiencies. So you just lose it forever if they go between human monster and then back to human, for example. I don't know if it's fixed in this version of the game. I just know I was not very happy with that, for obvious reasons. Yeah, chat, just let me know in the future if you want to rename any of the characters. Technically, even the nurse can be renamed. Oh, look at that, chat. We could kill some of our own NPCs now. Like, only level 99? I think we could kill them. <laughs> oh no, name them dude. Maybe. Yeah, the only ones that are going to give us trouble are the things in the 300s. Th those level 70 and 90 characters? Well, like, nah. Laurel could kill them right now. No question. Is it... He, he actually, does he have more attack power than HP before we end? He does. <laughs> right, chat? Disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for more weapon upgrades. Don't get me wrong, but we're in a pretty good position. I don't have to get another love belt. I think the feather token with Gladiator is good enough. And making sure the, the Jara or whatever it is also had Gladiator means that we're getting better than normal attacks anyway. So that's like another 40% on top of the 40. It's like the monster percentages in PSO. So yeah, we squeezed out a lot of extra attack on these. The only one that's kind of a bust now is the Love Belt, because we ended up getting a another Arms Master. So technically, if we're going to replace anything, we might replace this. But hey, I guess in the meantime, our proficiency did get to level 10. Which means that we ended up with, uh, what was it called? Winged Slayer from hitting level 10. That's nice to have that early, I guess. But oh well, chat. I think that is all for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. I think next time when we go to play the game, we're going to go see a Imagine If scenario with a bad ending. And then I think we're going to go like another four chapters. I think I think it's a good pace so far, somewhere between three and four chapters. As I said before, there's only 14 chapters. So if we clear 8, 9, 10, 11, then we do 12, 13, 14, end of game. We can see the other alternate endings. So I would expect one more session after that just to cover it. But yeah, we're actually pretty much near the end of Disgaea 1. And so far... As Jack can see, we haven't been back to the item world. We haven't been abusing the courts. We only really forced that one bill through just because they absolutely refused to uh, pass the belts. And even then, we haven't repeated that at our playthrough. So, so far, challenge being maintained. And uh, yeah, we're abusing the fact that attack stacking is really good. And soon we're going to have some Braveheart for finishing those final three chapters where they will have quite a lot of stats. They're going to be in the level 100 region, if not level 200. So having more than double their defense with attack should help quite a bit. And any extra points in Sword Mastery for more stats is definitely going to be welcome. But anyway, chat, that's all for now. So thank you again for watching, and I guess YouTube will see you again in the next part.